I see Renee. How are you? Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome in. Tanya, hello. How are you? Welcome. It's great seeing you here today. Happy Saturday. Deku, how you doing? And welcome. Welcome to Jeannie Young's Live. Hello. We're going to be cooking today. We are cooking, and I'm super excited because we're making cabbage. We're making cabbage. We're making chicken. We're having sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going down in the kitchen. Tanya, it's great seeing you here. Hello. Hi, Deku. Hello. As you come in, you know what to do. Welcome. It's great seeing you here. Hi, Karen, Kamisha, hello. Sassy, there you are, welcome, how are you? I hope y'all are having a great day today. I hope you're having an amazing day. There's my Nicole Stucco, thankful, hello, Tanya. I don't know how to say your name, Shawanda, Darlene, Leroy, welcome, Lenora. Jacqueline, Elizabeth, Darian, hello. Latasha and Latika, how are you all doing? It's great seeing you. Wilma, Omar, Renee, thank you for the roses. Thank you. Antoine and April, hello. Lavette, Dolores, Karen, and Penny Keller. Penny, how you doing? You want that one. Nettie, hello. Huh? You want that one? What, what one? Uh, you can turn it off and see. Um, Y'all tell me how the lighting is doing. I'm going to turn this light off above me. Does that look better? Saj, how you doing? Welcome. Crystal, hello. Edith, welcome. Dogman is back. Welcome. It's great seeing you all. Uh, Omar, I can't hear you, but I can sure enough see your message. <laughs> can you guys hear me is the question. <laughs> long as you can hear me, we're good. <laughs> Lynette, I love you too. Thank you. You guys are absolutely amazing. So let me pull the live up so I can look at the comments as well on a bigger screen, okay? So I hope you're having a good day today. It's 154 of you. Hello and welcome. Give a thumbs up to the live. Mildred, hello and welcome. Saj, how you doing? Diane, hello. Willie Smith, welcome. Denise, Mildred, how you doing? Thank you, Nate Dog. I appreciate that. And thank you all. I appreciate you all. Thanks for coming in and joining us today. Hold on, y'all. All right, I'm doing good, Jean. I hope all is well with you. All is well. It's, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day outside, but I had to come in and uh, go live. I wanted to say hello and just see you guys. You know, I wanted to come in and say hello and, and, you see the live is back to normal. A lot, of, a lot of people was freaking out. A lot of people was freaking out. So we're back to the normal screen. <laughs> Welcome in, hello. Donna, hello. William Moore says, hey Gina, went to the beach for the first time. It has been an amazing experience. Oh my goodness, I wish I was with you. I wish I was there. That sounds super fun. Nancy, hello. Michael Frost, everyone's doing great. Thank you, Braxton. Shirley Clark, hello. How you doing? All right. It's great seeing you. Lorraine Prell, hello and welcome. I said hi to Shirley Clark. That's right. I was going to say it again. <laughs> Eula, hello. Ashley. This, oh, okay. You said much better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Gina um, is the good angel version of Jill Scott. 
Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So let's have a ton of fun. How are, I hope y'all are having a great, great, great day today. The first thing that I'm going to do, and I, I, you, look, look, that's funny. Latika says, I'm on my way, Gina. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I got the door open for you. I got the door open for you when you get here. <laughs> Horace, hello and welcome. Lisa West, welcome. Maggie, hello. First thing we're going to do, I'm just going to jump up, wash my hands, we're going to get started making... Um, some delicious cabbage Gina Young style, okay? And I feel like, let's see if I can do it. I, I mean, I know when I'm on here, I like to teach. I think I'm just gonna throw my dinner together and talk to you guys without the teaching. But if somehow it turns into a teaching tutorial, well, that's good. <laughs> I, I, I'll see if I'm able to cook without teaching and just talk to you guys. We'll see how that works. But Hey, we can try it because the things that I'm making today, you all have seen me make it to before. So I don't think I need to do a tutorial. I'll just let y'all see me cooking. You want a big plate. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, how about I get my apron on, get my hands washed and we're getting ready to rock and roll. Happy Saturday. If you're just now coming in. How do I say Josepha? Josepha? Welcome. I, I hope I said your name right. Welcome, Shanda. Hello. Mildred, are you making cabbage today? Is what Sassy says. Maggie Cleves, how you doing? Let's see. I gotta get rid of this. Hold on. There's something on here. Uh-oh. That I want gone. Okay, that's great. Get that out of there. Okay, everyone. Georgetta, hello, Edith. Let's get it, let's go, can't wait. Okay, well, this is exciting. Happy Saturday if you're just now coming in. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you're a current subscriber, welcome. And if you've been with me for many, many years, welcome back, all right? Let me get my apron. We'll put that on right now. And we'll flip the camera over. I need the light. It's great seeing you. You might want to go through the blue living room and come back this way. Okay. Jackie, hello. Good afternoon. All right. So now what we're going to do, let's bring the, um, my computer so I can see you all's message. I'll put that right there. Y'all, we've been working on our yard, getting a lot of yard work done, and I've been loving every bit of it. I have been loving every bit of the warm weather. The warm weather is, is near. It's coming, and I'm excited. I, I definitely need a cord for this, okay? Let me wash my hands. Here. I don't want to get oil or anything on my 
You should. Shereen, hello, or Shires, is that how you say your name? Robin, hello. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate that. Okay, so now that my hands are nice and clean, the first thing I'm going to do, get started on the cabbage, and I'm going to try to make this not a cooking tutorial. You can just kind of see what I'm doing along the way, okay? So now I have pre-washed my cabbage, but I do always suggest once you get it nice and cut that you um, rinse it off again. Like, just rinse it off again because dirt, mud, and all kinds of stuff can be between those little pieces, okay? Welcome in if you're just now coming in. Happy Saturday. Gina in Michigan. What's what's happening in Michigan? Gina in Michigan. What what's happening in Michigan? Hi Robin. Cookie Monster is back. Welcome. It's great having you back. Uh, don't do that. Oh my goodness. Listen, I love the flea market and I'm not kidding. So let me tell you, I've told you all that I have like a blanket obsession with like baby blankets that's made of like uh, that have been uh, knitted using string. But uh, I, the baby blanket that I have um, I got it from the flea market. I got it from the flea market like 2012. And I love it to pieces. You heard me? When I seen it, I said I must have that baby blanket. I love a flea market. I really do. It's been years since I've been to a flea market, but I do love one. You're finally learning how to make it, okay? And you know what? It's super simple. It, it really is. We are making chicken. We're doing cabbage. And I think that I'm going to do like a mashed sweet potato. And the mashed sweet potato will give you like a whole nother life. So delicious. Super delicious. Right, so I'm breaking this down in such a manner. I do want to grab uh, a bowl that I can put this in. And that way I can rinse it off very well in the sink. The kitchen is different. Sure I moved. Sure I moved. Absolutely. Alicia, hello, how are you? We're making cabbage, chicken, and sweet potatoes. Judy Young style. Gina, my sister's booth is at Trader's World in Cincinnati. Oh, that's exciting, is that right? Oh, how great. So what does she sell? Okay, so Penny Keller says we have flea markets over here in PA and Central Market, also known as Farmer's Market. I love a good, I love a Farmer's Market, Penny. Penny, I am for all for a Farmer's Market. Absolutely. You grab a pen <laughs> okay listen that's what I'm here for okay along the way I'll tell you some of the ingredients that we're using but you're basically gonna see everything that I'm doing here you know making cabbage for my family my husband likes to put a little bit of hot sauce on his cabbage 
And I tried it one day and I thought, oh, that's delicious. <laughs> it is. So if you never had hot sauce on your cabbage, you have to try it just one time to say you've tried it, you know. Bear with the camera. He's trying to fix the angle. Fix it this way. It's not even. The camera needs to go this way. Bend it this way. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Dina, I sent you pictures. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take a look at them. I got my phone in my pocket, in my back pocket. So when I get some downtime, I'll take a peek. All of your recipes are hits, and I've tried them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, great. That's what I'm here for. I want to teach the world how to cook delicious, fun recipes, Gina Young style. And, and I like to let people know that cooking does not have to be stressful. It really doesn't. It, does, it doesn't have to be stressful. I feel like a lot of people make it stressful, you know? I really do. Don't freak out. Clean up along the way as you're cooking, and you'll be happy. Bear with the camera. They're putting the camera onto a different tripod, so it may be a little wiggly just for a second. Go ahead and do it while they know what's happening, if you're wanting to switch it. Fried or baked chicken? Here's the thing. I was going to fry it, but I said I'm going to bake it. Because when I baked the chicken thighs the other day, they were so super delicious. My family loved it. I loved it. And I love a good baked chicken wing. So that's what we're going to do. I was going to come in and make uh, fried mustard chicken, but I said not today. I'm going to relax. Bear with the camera. He's putting it on a new tripod. Um, I'm going to relax today. I'm not going to be in the kitchen all day cooking. Right, and making the chicken baked is going to, you know, it saves a little bit of the stress <laughs> of the cooking process, right? Okay, the camera is getting added to the new tripod as we speak. Okay, just be patient a little bit. Lady D, hello, Lorraine, hello. Raymond sausage shrimp. Oh, wait a minute. So Raymond says sausage and shrimp and cabbage? Sausage and shrimp in the cabbage could be like a whole Creole thing, right? And that sounds absolutely delicious. It, it really does. You gotta have a little bit of strength when you're dealing with this cabbage, I'm just gonna tell you. Because these things can be hectic trying to get through them. A lot of times I'll tell my husband, can you cut the cabbage? I'll make it, but can you cut it for me? <laughs> I made loaded steak nachos with fresh pico de gallo. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me, Drew? That sounds delicious. Welcome in. It's great seeing you all today. Happy Saturday. I'm hoping that I can brighten somebody's Saturday up today. Somebody's in the comment and you're down and you were having a bad day, but I'm hoping I can brighten your day up a little bit. Jeannie Young is here to save the day, to give us all something to do fun on a beautiful Saturday that it is. Lynette, hello, Xander, welcome back. Xander, how you doing? DB, hello. You have brightened up my day, well that's great. Gina, can you please respond to Penny? Sure I can. Um, I need to know what she said. Can you tell me what Penny says? Hold on, let me tell my cameraman to take a peek, okay? I'm sorry, Penny, for missing your message. Kathy, hello, Kathy. Okay, tell me what Penny Keller is saying. I think that's the Penny Keller. Anybody? Can you guys tell me what Penny is saying? They said they have bad news. Okay, Penny, what are you saying? Tell me what's going on. For Penny? Penny, what's going on? She's 
floating? She says she has sad news. She's floating. Who is floating? I, I'm confused. She's saying she has bad news. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Penny, I, I'm not able to see your message right now. You know if you stay on here or if somebody tells me, um, I'll be able to respond back to you. But you can also, if you wanted to, you can email me, okay? I'm sorry to hear that, Penny. Oh, okay, Drew, I was confused for a second. Like, what is happening here? Okay, I got my cabbage nice and cut up. Two, I always do two medium heads of cabbage. And that feeds us for about maybe two to three days on two heads of cabbage. I mean, we love it so much, you know? Always get two heads. If I get one head, you, you know, we go back for more, there's none. Okay, so I'm going to rinse my cabbage off. I'm going to walk away to the sink and I'll be right back. cabbage with sausage yeah it you know here's the thing i will make fried cabbage but it's just not how i grew up i didn't grow up on fried cabbage i grew up on cabbage that's cooked like in a broth so to speak like you'll see me do today i'm just i don't know when i have the option to make cabbage i never think of frying it first i i don't I don't, I don't feel like cabbage should be oily in any way. And when you fry it, you get like an oily feel to it. I don't know what this means. <laughs> you get like an oily feel to your cabbage. I, eh, I don't prefer that. So now I do my cabbage like my dad did. If you take a look here, I have some water. Uh, can you all see? I got some water, okay? It's not a whole lot. It's just a little bit. And it kind of gets the cabbage going, okay? Even though cabbage, as it cooks down, it makes its own liquid, I still like to put water in the bottom because uh, it makes a gorgeous broth that tastes good. Do you know how when we're making greens, I always talk about that gorgeous pot liquor? Cabbage makes it too. And if you season your food well, you have that gorgeous pot liquor down in the bottom of this pot, and it tastes so good. Like, spoon it over your rice. Listen here. You hear me? Woo! Somebody gonna be happy over this recipe. So you see that I cut my cabbage up, rinsed it off, and put it in the cold water. About this much water's in there. And like I said, the cabbage will let its own water off, and we're gonna, it, it's just going to make for a gorgeous broth inside. Okay? So now, I'm going to put bell peppers into my cabbage. I had a green bell pepper, but it was super soggy. And so I threw that thing away. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit of this. And I'm going to put it in right now. I just use a little bit just to bring in some color. All right? And some great vitamins. You hear me? It gets me every time. Okay? <laughs> I, it's funny because I love to say the words that you guys love. If you love it, it, it I mean, if you like it, I love it. You know? <laughs> it's kind of like that. Hi, Gina. I like my cabbage fried with bacon. You do yours like that, too. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the cabbage that I grew up on, 
was always made with cabbage. It was never made with sausage, but I'm doing smoked sausage today. I know my dad told me that he, when he makes cabbage today, he, may, he uses um, organic cabbage and he uses like a beef kielbasa sausage. And he said, Nina, if you just try the organic cabbage, you'll be hooked. <laughs> That's what he told me. I'm putting all the peppers in right now. I'm going to season that thing real good and I'm turning it on. I'm turning on like a medium heat and we're just going to let it cook down. Okay? So we got sausage, bell peppers, and water. Okay? I'm going to go in with some seasoning. A little tiny bit of paprika. It's not smoked. I said we're not doing a cooking tutorial, but you know. <laughs> you know. You know how I get. That is garlic powder. Onion powder. I know. I get crazy with this. You, my food is going to guarantee it's going to have flavor. It's going to have flavor. And if you're afraid to season, your food will be flavorless. Diane, what type of knife is that? Looks like a good cutting knife. This is called a blue diamond. Blue diamond. And I believe you can find that at Walmart. When my husband gets that name brand for me, I totally love it. It works good. And I got knife sharpeners here that every once in a while I can go in. Let me show you. I got a knife sharpener every once in a while. I can just go in and sharpen any knife that I need to sharpen. Use, you know, get you a knife sharpener. Okay, did I season? I seasoned my cabbage to perfection. But now, just know that um, just because I seasoned it doesn't mean I won't season it again. Because if I taste it and I feel the need to put more seasoning in, we're going to put more in. Okay. I have one of them too, Gina. They were great. I like how you spelled great. <laughs> G-R-8. I was able to read it. <laughs> I was able to read it. <laughs> Some of these words, they be, they, they, you know, you know, uh, they, they write it like that. And I'm like, okay, what does this mean? <laughs> Like W-Y-D. It, it took me forever to figure out what that meant. And now I know it means, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I told my husband, I said, don't worry about it, baby. We'll get this together. <laughs> we'll, le we'll learn this stuff together. <laughs> oh, Drew. <laughs> Denise Billups, great. How you doing? Welcome in. It's great seeing you here. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Your sausage, you can do two things. You can uh, cook the sausage and get a nice color onto the sausage, okay? Or you can just chop it up and throw it in there. So whichever way you decide that you want to do will work great, okay? You do tend to get a little more flavor when you cook your sausage and get that dark color onto it, okay? But if you don't want to, you ain't got to. Just chop it up and throw it in. Because there is like an oil and beautiful juices and flavor in your sausage that will give great flavor. Now, if you're using bacon, I would definitely fry the bacon first and then throw it in with a little bit of bacon grease, okay? Oh my goodness, what would I do for a meatloaf right now? I would, I would jump some hoops for a meatloaf right now. <laughs> I would. Let me get a pan, y'all. I would jump circles right now for a good meatloaf, cold meatloaf. I want my meatloaf cold and I want to put it on white bread, right? With a little bit of mayonnaise and hot sauce, and I'm set. You hear me? Sassy says, hello, everyone coming in. That's the way you make your boiled cabbage with the sausage. It's so good. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, Sassy. For 
for sure. Laura, how you doing? And welcome in. It's great seeing you all here today on this lovely Saturday. Tell me what you all's weather is like. Do you have amazing weather or is it super duper cold? I'd love to know. I'll look over at the comment section here in just a second. I mean, here's the thing. So today, it's, I'd say at the most, it's about 60, but it feels beautiful. What, what, no, no, don't, turn, turn your volume down. Turn your volume all the way down. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would say that it's about 60. It's not super hot, but it's sunny, it's bright, the birds are singing, and the grass is super green, right? So we was outside early this morning and we was playing badminton. And I was tearing Dakota up in that badminton. Do you hear me? I was, whoa, whoa, with that thing. What was I, Dakota? Don't lie. Y'all, don't let Dakota lie to you. I was whipping his butt in badminton. No, she was not. Yes, I was. Don't lie, Dakota. I scored more points than you. No, you did. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Y'all not gonna get the y'all not gonna get the truth from Dakota. Don't you believe him? I was ready for that little birdie. I was serving that thing. <laughs> I was. <laughs> such, such. Don't you laugh at me. <laughs> I was Nicole, Nicole, I was on him, and guess what I look like this morning? So let's just talk all about it. I had all of my hair wrapped up in like a bandana, like all of my hair. None of my hair was hanging up, hanging down. So I had my hair wrapped up. I had a nightgown on, not pajamas. I had a nightgown on and a robe, and then I just had socks on, and I had a blanket wrapped around me outside. And so they put the badminton together. And uh, so I told my husband, I said, let me get out there real quick in my pajamas, right? I, and I thought, oh crap, I don't want to walk in the, uh, I don't want to walk in the grass and I don't have no shoes on. And my husband took his flip flops off. He said, here, you can put mine on. So I got his flip flops on this, this much bigger than my feet, right? And Dakota hit that birdie and I missed it. Yo, I knocked off my husband's house shoes and I was like, wham, wham. I was tearing Dakota. <laughs> He's smiling. He's smiling, y'all, so you know he lied. He won't tell you the truth. He won't you tell you. Win. He will not tell y'all the truth. <laughs> look, look, look at DB's uh, badminton. That's so funny. <laughs> I love the emoji. Super funny. <laughs> so now here's what we're going to do on a serious note. I got sausage. We're going to brown it up. It doesn't need to be super brown. And whatever little bit of oil that's in the pan, pour that in here too for great flavor. Not a lot of oil. Like I said, me personally, I feel like when you make cabbage, you don't want it to be oily. So the little bit of oil, can, can they see that little bit of oil? That little bit of oil that I put in there is a corn oil. Um, I'll pour that in. But if it's a whole lot, just pour a little bit of the oil when you put your sausage in. But in the meantime, between time, we're going to turn this on on a medium heat and just let that thing go. Okay? Let it go. And I think, let me grab a lid. Today she wasn't. In badminton. She wouldn't have scored any points if it wasn't Wendy at all. <laughs> oh, he said it was Wendy. He said I wouldn't have scored any points if it was Wendy. If it wasn't Wendy. Are you kidding me? If it wasn't Wendy. I know you liar. I know you liar. And I had, oh, I, so after I kicked off my husband's uh, flip flops, I didn't have no shoes on. I was, I was like, I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> I, you like this chat much better. Yeah, I I do understand. I was wanting to know what you guys thought, um, but I knew somebody was going to say that. But I had to, y'all laughing at me. I had to test it out. I wanted to test that one out, you know, and compare it to this one. I seen a difference, uh, but 
I may not be doing that one again. We'll just kind of see. We'll just kind of see. But for now, we'll, we'll, we'll just see. <laughs> we'll just see where the dice roll. Uh-oh, Mary Jane says he, would, he wouldn't know a good mitten player if he seen one. Oh. <laughs> All I know is I scored more points than her. <laughs> Listen, Mary, telling Mary, we was playing badminton when we was little in the backyard. And still couldn't score more points than me. Your grandpa had the badminton set up, the basketball court. I was playing all these sports before you was even thought of. And you still lost. No, I haven't lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all tell him. No, he, he's refraining from looking at the messages. He ain't looking at these messages. He looking at his phone. He looking at his phone doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, them bite boards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, listen, happy Saturday. And I can tell you, I'm really grateful to be here with you today. So welcome in and happy Saturday. And like I said, hopefully today I can brighten your day up if you wasn't having a good day today. What was I cooking? Okay, let's put this aside. So now, what I want to do right now is, I'm just, listen, with my chicken, I'm going to whip this thing together real quick. Okay, let me see. It's not the points. It's how you play the game. No, it's not. It Tina, is the points. Tina, kick them shoes off. Let me see if you, can they see my shoes right here? Can they see my, these, nice. my shoes don't match. Can they see them? Yep, they can see I them. I had my husband's shoes on and I was like, woo! I kicked them things off and I was ready. Bare feet, bare feet. I was ready for it to color. Boom, boom. <laughs> I did. I, did. I kicked my husband's house shoes was this big on me. I can't. Was I barefoot? Tell him the truth. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I was. Y'all heard it. <laughs> so, so you had a reason to lose. He said I had a reason to lose. No, I didn't. You haven't. Listen, let me tell you this. So we went to Lowe's, and uh, <clears throat> Lowe's has a little tiny, like, outdoor game section. It was either Lowe's or Menards, right? And they have stuff like, um, like you know, the cement chalk for kids and bubbles and, you know, little balls, all outdoor stuff. And we seen that, and my husband said, you want it? And I said, yes. So it comes with a uh, valley ball and a little tiny pump that you can uh, use the valley ball too. So what I'll do, I'll be sure to show you all the uh, badminton court out there. We won't do it right now, but I, I'll make sure to show you, okay? I think he's getting ready to get the box so you guys can see. Okay. Show, them how, show them how you serve. Show them how I serve. What you mean show them how I serve? Give me the birdie. Give me the party. I knocked that thing. Here, I'll catch it. Boom. That's my. <laughs> he took my show you. Show him how I. That's how I served it. And the. Hey, he couldn't. He could not get that birdie. <laughs> <laughs> I can hit you with the head. He, he, he could not get that birdie, y'all. <laughs> I'm nice with this. Oh, maybe he can pick up some points for future games. I, I won the game. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> happy saturday if you're just now coming in i love you i appreciate you guys and thank you for coming in and joining me today so now he wants me to show you the uh the set it's a combo set so it's a combination set it has volleyball and badminton and, badminton. and of course you put the court together it comes with the pump, the ball, the birdies, and we got some more, some extra birdies. But it was super duper cheap. And then, like, I'm not kidding. Look like who? Oh, Alice says, I'd like to watch you do that. <laughs> Yo, listen, I'm pretty competitive. When it comes to sports, I'm pretty competitive. 
that. You're, you're the you, you may not know, put that down. You may not know that about me. I'm pretty competitive when it comes to the sports. I mean, listen, listen, give me a ball and I'm, ooh, I'm ready. <laughs> what, listen, when I met my husband, he said, I didn't know you had that in you. He said, here's the thing. He said, I bet you it's because your dad raised you and he did a good job. I said, heck yeah, my dad had me in the backyard playing kickball. We did. We played baseball. We was playing basketball. We, we had a rim on the garage. And my dad was out there shooting hoops with me. <laughs> my husband, when he sees me playing a sport, he'll just sit back. He'll watch. But he be smiling. He's like, okay, okay, I see you. I do too, T. Smith. Absolutely. Who is Drew saying he doesn't look like? Who is he talking about? <laughs> so now, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead. And we're going to continue our great conversation today. But let's go ahead in the meantime, and we want to season up some chicken. When you season... Listen. I've already took off any feathers that was on my chicken and I cleaned it off using lemon juice, salt, and cold water, okay? And then I've taken that wing tip and I like to fold it behind each other so it doesn't look like it's flapping away. <laughs> Tati, what in the heaven is going on in here? What do you mean we're having a great time? The, Welcome in. The views number is 222. Is it? You know what that means? Uh-uh. What is it? It's an angel number that means balance, collaboration, love, and harmony. Okay, that's great. Oh, that's so funny, Penny. I love what you say. Penny says, I only put the game face on when I'm on the Xbox One. <laughs> well, that's great. Take a look at my sausage. See that? It's looking good. And since I have just a little tiny bit of oil, I'm going to pour that in. But just be mindful. If you got too much oil, don't pour it all in. Okay? Save some of that oil. So I'm going to put this right on top. And I'm not even going to stir the cabbage. Guess why? Because if I stir it right now before it cooks down, it's going to be all over my stove. So I'm just going to put these on top, put a lid on it. Once it cooks down a little bit in the pot, then we'll go in and stir it. Okay? I'll be right back. Now all we have to do is just let it cook, right? Just let it cook. Someone said, what are the potatoes for? What are the potatoes for? The potatoes are for, I just um, love having potatoes with my cabbage. And I'm going to do a quarter potato. You all have seen me make those. But if not, you'll see. Um, I love doing a quarter potato. And you just peel them, you quarter them. Uh, they look like big steak fries, you boil them. And then after they're fork tender, we're gonna put salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley flakes and butter, and they are the best potatoes ever. You Now here's the thing, here's the thing. I may not do those potatoes, guess why? Because I'm making sweet potatoes. So thank you for mentioning it. I'm not gonna use them. I'm not gonna use them. I'm not going to use them, so, but we will have sweet potatoes. That would be nuts if we were going to have those potatoes and sweet potatoes, right? So thank you for uh, bringing that to my knowledge. Someone said, are you good at volleyball? I'm good at volleyball. I, I, I'm good at volleyball. And you know what? Here's the thing. I'm not going to sit there and say that I'm good at things that I'm not. Um, when I was younger, this is serious. When I was younger, I would go to the recreation center and my husband would tell you the same stories about his childhood. I would go to the recreation center and learn how to do all this stuff. Everything that I learned, 
um, was basically either from my backyard or from the recreation center. At the recreation center, we did everything. We learned how to do everything. Whether it was gymnastics, we were sewing gimp, we were, you know, just, we, uh, we were playing pool, the guys were in the, um, in the gym, they were lifting weights and playing basketball. It was just like a ton of stuff always going on. And all you really had to do when you were younger at the recreation center is just walk up and say, I want to play. And next thing you know, you were in a game of baseball, right? And you learned how to do those things. Oh, yes. Cornbread. Got it. How about we make some? All right, let's make cornbread. We'll have cornbread with it. So now, what I'm gonna do, I've already washed my chicken off. I'm gonna turn it upside down in my pan and we're gonna season that thing. Using your favorite seasonings, just because I use certain seasonings, doesn't never mean that you have to use the same seasonings that I use. As long as you be mindful of the salt, your recipe is gonna turn out delicious. Because you might have completely different ingredients than I have, but as long as you watch the salt, it will always turn out good. Someone said, how are you so short but good at badminton? Oh, how am I so short? I just, like I said, I have competitivism. <laughs> what is the word? I, 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 I. You're competitive? I'm competitive. I'm competitive. So I never looked at my height. I never ever looked at my height like a downfall. I never looked at somebody and thought, oh man, she's big. She's going to do better than me. No, no, because I thought I could do it too. No matter what it was. <clears throat> if they was jumping, jumping double dutch and I seen the girls in there twisting circles and doing all kinds of stuff, I knew in my head that I could learn how to do it just like they did. And I practiced until I got it right. And you gotta have confidence that you can do it even though you're little. Cause you, so you guys can imagine, you know, what size I was as a teenager. I was much smaller, you know. <clears throat> That's so funny, who says that? Daniel says, you're not short, you're vertically challenged. <laughs> well, thank you, Daniel. I love you, too. That's such a backhanded compliment. <laughs> Dakota said, that's a backhanded compliment? Well, thank you, Daniel. You're awesome. <laughs> so I, I believe that I'm 5'1". Don't quote me on that. I do believe that's what my height is. And I'm 165. But, you know, when I was younger, my weight was, you know, less. And I was shorter. Season that thing up good. Let the camera come in and see how well seasoned our chicken is. Can they see? <laughs> okay, your your mama and dad was to blame. Saj, wow, oh, you're fine too. <laughs> I do too, Saj. Saj, Saj, don't worry. I love my height. I like my height. I don't think I would want to be tall. And I'm not saying anything against people that are tall because we love everybody, you know, no matter what shape, no matter what size, right? There's nothing wrong with anybody, any shape or size. But I don't think that I would want to be tall versus my size that I am today. I'm just flipping the chicken over so I can season it on the other side. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of water in the bottom of the pan. And this is going in the oven, 375 degrees. Let me see. Oh, Sassy's 5'3". Yeah. <laughs> he said, Cousin Sassy, you taller than me. Drew, how tall are you? <laughs> Oh, okay, your brother got the height. <laughs> I don't feel like any of my siblings are tall. 
But my dad is not tall. My dad is not tall. My mom was not tall, so. Okay, well, but one thing that I could not do, you may laugh at this. You may laugh at this, and I'm okay if you laugh at it. Go on roller coasters? No. So my sister, she was the track star. My sister and my brother, I think my brother ran cross country. And he wrestled, and my other brother wrestled, and he played baseball. But my sister, she was a track, like a track star, like for real, like for real life. I couldn't run to save my life. If I started running as fast as I could, listen, y'all. If I started running as fast as I could run, guaranteed I'd be falling right, tripping over my feet, falling right on my face. I don't get it. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. I don't understand. But I tell you what, I could sure work up the mojo to get there, right? Running fast as I can, but guaranteed I'd be tripping over my feet to fall forward. <laughs> Laura, Laura is just cracking up. It's true. <laughs> Mildred. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Xander. Look at Xander's message to Mildred, y'all. Drew, what are you doing in here? <laughs> hi, Gina. Please say, say hi to Joe Mar Miller. In North Carolina. Welcome. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Hello. How are you? If I miss absolutely anybody's message, it's never intentional, okay? I love you guys, but it, sometimes it's impossible to see everyone's message, okay? So please understand. It, it gets a little better when I come from behind this counter and then I'm able to sit in front of the camera and read your messages a little bit better, you know? Hey, Gina, happy Saturday. I'm tuning in from Jamaica. Jody, welcome. Hello. It's great seeing you here. Happy Saturday to you all. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get back on the topic here in just a second. <clears throat> I like to keep everything nice and neat. Keeping it neat is going to make the world happy. You'll be, I'm putting some chicken powder. I'm not spreading it on my chicken. I'm going to put it in the bottom of my pan, and then I'm going to put some water in the bottom of my pan, and that will create like a chicken broth that my chicken is setting in. I don't want it swimming in chicken broth, no. But I do want it setting in some flavor, and that's how I'm going to do it. Put some chicken bouillon powder in the bottom of my pan, throw a little bit of water in the pan, and your chicken is setting on top of flavor now, right? Then we're going to throw it in the oven. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Someone said, what do you think about Drake making the diss track against Rick Ross? Um... chicken because of course guess what you you would do you'd be pouring all that lovely spices off right just put it in the bottom of the pan all you need is a little to get everything going let's bake it 375 okay so you said and I'm gonna put some sazon on the top what do I think about the dish track with Rick Ross and what's his name Drake Right? Drake this regret. I wanted to say Drew. <laughs> okay, so I don't know much about it. But when my husband comes back in, you guys can ask him. You'll know when he comes back in because I'll be, you know, talking to him and things like that. You can ask him to see what his thoughts are. Because I can't really give a thought on something that I don't know much about. Um, so we'll see what his thoughts are if you're still in this chat when my husband walks in. 
Okay? Now, let the camera pan down on this so they can see what some good seasoned chicken looks like. <laughs> Woo! Put that baby in the oven. In the oven, 375. I think I'll put it down. Hey, listen, two recipes done and out the way. Two recipes. And it ain't done, but you know, on the stove. We got cabbage on the stove. All we gotta do is keep an eye on it, stir it every once in a while, taste it, see, re season it if need be. The chicken is cooking and we're on a roll, okay? So now the next thing that we're gonna do, when the chicken comes out, we'll make cornbread. I might be able to make cornbread before the chicken comes out. But now what I wanna get started on is our lovely uh, sweet potatoes, and we're gonna mash them. So I'm gonna use a handheld beater to mash them. We're gonna put some sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, right? This thing gonna taste good. And we're gonna put some butter in there. Nita, hello, Dolores, millionaires dissing each other. I can care less. Oh, okay, okay, I understand what you're saying, Drew. Yeah, yeah. I, I Like I said, I don't know much about it. My husband knows about it. So we'll see what he says. <laughs> Chris, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you for coming back in and joining us today. It's great having you back. Welcome to any and everyone that's in this chat that I didn't get a chance to say hello to. Welcome in. It's great having you. Oh, you're the quiet one in here. Okay, okay. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. stress-free. Is that less stress-free? Yeah. Hello, Gina from Chicago. Hey, Dolores. I'm making chicken. I'm making cabbage. We're making sweet potatoes, and I believe we're going to make some uh, jippy cornbread. We are. So now I have some uh, yams here, and I've already opened the can up. First thing that I wanna do when I am making a delicious mashed sweet potato, what I like to do is get it nice and hot. Now, you can get these hot by putting them in a bowl and throw them in the microwave. If you want it to, you can, but I'm gonna throw them on the stove. Okay, I'm just gonna throw them on the stove in a big pan. And the big pan, my purpose for using a real big pan it's because I want to take my blender and blend them up in that big pan, okay? If you use something shallow, sweet potatoes are going to be everywhere when you're blending them, right? So, here's my pan. I hope y'all are having a great day, and if you're not, hopefully I can brighten up your day. All right, so what we're going to do, let's take them. Come on, camera. And go ahead and put that liquid in there too, okay? Okay. We just want to heat the potato, okay? Just turn them on like a medium or even low and just let them simmer. I always, always will use three large cans because we like leftovers, right? If you want leftovers, 
They said how much brown sugar are you using? All depends. All depends on how I'm feeling. But guess what? I'm using white sugar. I, let me see if I have brown sugar. I really didn't think I had brown sugar. So my plans were just to use white sugar. So if you're ever in a pinch and you're not sure if you have it or you don't have it, it's okay to use white sugar, okay? They both, same thing. Get that lid for me. white sugar mix the two together and you got a miracle made in heaven okay so let's do that are you cooking for an army well I'm cooking for three of us but we do like to have leftovers right and so if you're on it's only three of us here so if you you know I got my husband my 15 or 15 year old son and they both like to eat. <laughs> so, you know, I, but like I said, we do eat leftovers. We eat leftovers. And then also, we, um, if there's ever leftovers, leftover, leftovers, leftover, we will give leftovers to family and friends and things like that. So nothing ever goes to waste. So just know that sometimes when you guys see me make a lot, you're like, oh, so what? I know you ain't going to throw that out. Nothing ever gets thrown out. It does, Mary. That's why uh, Mary makes a great point. Mary says cabbage cooks down to nothing. And so that's why I always make the two heads. But like I said, I could probably eat some of that cabbage for dinner. And then tonight I'll have some more. I might wake up tomorrow morning and instead of having breakfast, I'll have cabbage. So, you know, that's how it goes around here. Miss Gina, do you add marshmallows? Um, I don't. I don't. Um, I have made a recipe for you all on this channel showing you how to make um, sweet potatoes with the marshmallows, but I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. I don't prefer the sweet potatoes with the pineapples. I just prefer a simple, a sweet potato. Now, we are making mashed sweet potatoes today, but I have an amazing recipe for how to make sweet potatoes. Where you use the brown sugar and the pecans and it's layered on Splendid. So if you wanna check that out, be sure to check it out. Mildred, enjoy yourself. Yeah, so Dolores, um, I feel like it was my sister. Don't quote me because I could be completely wrong. I feel like my sister said that she did pineapples and marshmallows in hers one year. I could be completely wrong. This could be like a whole made up story. <laughs> but I heard it somewhere, but I thought I heard it from her. It sounds delicious, but I just, I kind of stick to a more traditional way. So now, uh, right now we have sweet potatoes. We just want to heat them up. After they're heated up, see, um, after they're heated up, I'm going to take this and I'm going to gather all the ingredients. I have them right here and show you how I like to mash the potatoes. And after you mash them, if you want it, uh, for the person that wants marshmallows, you can turn around and mash them, put them into a baking dish, throw some marshmallows on top and throw them in the oven just to char the top of the marshmallow and you're set, right? So that's definitely something you can do. So let's talk about the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my sweet potato, okay? We got them heating up. Allspice, I love. If you don't like it, don't use it. You don't like it, don't use it. You don't like it, don't use it. Vanilla. Cinnamon. Okay? They said what's your favorite video game growing up? We're going to use butter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use 
brown and white sugar. Let me get my white sugar. Mom. What was the game that I liked to play growing up? Growing up, hold on guys. Growing up, I liked to play centipede. I know. I like to play centipede on Atari. I also like to play Pac-Man. Are you kidding me? Pac-Man, Centipede, and guess what I was great at? And I was a little tiny kid at, at that when I was playing this. Mario Brothers. Oh, da -na -da -na -na -da -na 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 -na. Right, listen, I was the best at Mario Brothers. I could go see it, save the queen, is that what you have to do? <laughs> I was so good. And, and you know how sometimes you have to jump on that little tiny thing? I was good at getting him on that thing and making sure he didn't fall off. I had the time of my life playing Mario Brothers on Atari, on Atari. You're just going with the flow? Chris, how you doing? Chris, I just love the way you did, You guys did that picture. I love the red and the purple. It's great. I like, I want to take a picture like that. So big ups to Saj for doing your picture that way. Oh, you like Galaxy? Chef Deb, yes, Atari. Mario, see Gina, another thing we got in common. Yes, we do, Saj, you bet we do. I was good at Atari with the little thing. <laughs> yeah, I was, I mean, I was super good. <laughs> because I'm not going to let them rip me off anymore. <laughs> what do you mean by that? They're too expensive. And so uh, we are to the point in our life where we're not going to sit there and waste our money anymore. I'm so serious on anything. And so uh, we've been making better choices. I love the carry gold too, but I'm not, I can't do it because this is good too. This is good too, right? So that's what I've been working on, making better decisions with our money because it makes sense. And if you don't make better decisions with your money, you're going to be lost in the sauce. <laughs> I can remember there was a, so we had a washer and dryer at our house where I lived at growing up. Uh, I don't, I guess this is growing up. This is the growing up motion. <laughs> um, growing up, we did have a washer and dryer, but if the washer and dryer was ever broke down or uh, we had to wash like blankets, big things, we would go to this laundry mat. And at the laundry mat, they had like vending machines and um, they also had like an Atari system where you could go in, you could play centipede play some Pac-Man and stuff like that. I had fun. I would sit on that bench while they was folding and washing clothes or I would get up, I'd be able to get, I can't remember how much it was to put in that game, but I loved going to the laundry mat. I did, I did. It, was, it would always be like on a Saturday or Sunday and we had a ton of clothes to wash. But like I said, we had a washer and dryer. I'm assuming that either it was broke down or we was washing like uh, blankets. I would always like go in there. To, I, I was first game I was playing with Centipede. You love all these. Hey, listen, I like to tell people, and I'm not. I'm serious. Ain't nothing wrong with all these. Ain't nothing wrong with save a lot. Are you kidding me? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. To me, nothing's wrong with it. They do, Xander. They have amazing prices. Stacy, hello. Gina, please say hi to Jahana. Aldi's got all you need now. Yeah, they do. Aldi's has um, that chocolate bread that I love. And Save a Lot has it as well. It's like a bread loaf and it has chocolate pieces in it. And I live for it. It's like the best thing since sliced bread. You know, br baked bread with chocolate in the inside. <laughs> Listen, yo, give me a second. I'll be right back.
It smells absolutely amazing in here. So now, our chicken is in the oven. Sweet potatoes are warming up. They don't have to be extremely hot right now. You just want to warm the potatoes up before you begin to mix in your spices, your seasonings and stuff, okay? So they're almost heated up. And then we'll come in with our seasoning, brown and white sugar, or you can just use one. All brown sugar or all white sugar, it doesn't matter, okay? Our cabbage is cooking up and I'm super happy. I'll get the stuff that I need out so we can make cornbread. Drew, I think it was Drew or Saj that said cornbread sounds good. And I thought, it does sound good. Why don't we make some? Of course, it's going to be Jiffy, right? The quick way. But I tell you what, Jiffy ain't never let me down. Hi, Zena. When the bread was 25 cents, wow, are you kidding me? Well, you're right, Drew. Yo, listen. Go in the wall. Uh, then here, let me ask you, is this your experience too? When you go to Walmart, are there any cashiers anymore? Because where we live, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm not kidding. Where we live, there's no cashiers anymore. You have to go to self-checkout. And the only workers that you will see is people stocking the floors or people standing where you do self-checkout and they're watching you. We don't see cashiers anymore. Can I get an amen or what? Tell me, y'all. What, what do you think? Try it, 
it, guys, because you're you're the second person that's saying that. Honey cornbread is delicious. I'll try it. Yo, did you guys, somebody in the comment section, did y'all see when I made the uh, sweet potato cornbread? If you didn't, I made a sweet potato cornbread. It was the best thing you ever want to taste. It was this fluffy. It was sweet. Oh, y'all listen. It was good. I need to get the pan that I'm going to use. I'm going to put some oil in my pan here. Oh, you yes, you've seen it. Okay. You hate self-checkout. I, I, I think, I don't know, I think that my husband hates it as well. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it. I get so frustrated, especially if you go to scan something and it don't work, and then you got to wait on those people to come. Knowing they was watching you already in the first place, you know. If you see me stuck and something ain't scanning, come over here because you was watching me in the first place. <laughs> right? They always watching the wrong people. You watching the wrong person. While somebody back there stealing something, you watching me. You watching the wrong person. Oh, hold on. Okay. The put the honey and butter on it. Is that what Sassy's saying? So now I could do that to this. I could put, I don't have honey. I don't think I do. I may have some honey in my in my basement. I don't know, in the pantry in the basement. Yo, I meant to put some shredded cheese in here, but it's okay. We're going to work with it, right? No worries. And I'm throwing this in the oven right now. Cleaning up everything as I go so, every, so we have no worries. Okay, so I'm going to put this into the oven. I'm going to give it a nice whack. I'm going to get the air bubbles out, okay? Oh, guess what? It's okay, no worries. I thought that my oven was on, but it's not on. What I'm smelling is my cabbage, but it's okay. So now what we'll do, we'll let the oven preheat up before this goes in, okay? Um, I have sweet potatoes, and I want to drain them. Here's what they look like. They're just nice and simmering in that liquid, okay? Let's drain them. We'll put them back in here. We're going to get them mashed with butter, sugar, and all of these lovely spices here, and your mashed sweet potatoes will basically be done. Now, you can take them and put them in and reheat them or keep them warm in your oven, okay? I have a video for hot water cornbread. It's not something that I grew up on. It's not something that I ever used to have a lot because I never did. But I find it to be interesting. Hot water cornbread is definitely interesting. Okay, Dolores says me either, Gina. See, see. I don't understand. Hey, Google, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm deleting what I heard. She it says, be gone in a few seconds. She says, sorry, I'm deleting what I heard. It should be gone in a few seconds. I didn't say, hey, Google. I didn't say that. <laughs> Chris. So come on in with the camera. 
camera, please. We got some good stuff going on. Three large cans of yams. They may be sweet potatoes, yams, but you know, as we do know, it's very, very similar, right? So now let's go right in with seasoning, okay? They're hot, steaming hot, and I drained them. I'm putting a nice amount of cinnamon on there on purpose. Vanilla extract, you need it. You need it. It's clear, but it's good. All right, if you like all spice like we do, you're gonna put some in there, okay? Come on. I always have to do this to this one because um, it just doesn't come out for some reason. All right, I'm gonna put a stick of butter. Get in there, okay? And we're gonna put our sugar in and then we'll mix it and mash it. Okay, so I plan on, I, I will put some salt. When you're making sweet things, put using a little bit of salt kind of balances things. Just that little bit, believe it or not, does a miracle, right? So now let's grab some brown sugar and some white sugar. And like I said, I plan on using about a cup all together, but I, I know how much, you know, I don't need my measuring cup to understand how much I need, okay? Beautiful. And I don't want to make it too sugary. I feel like people ruin things when they make things too sweet. You know, I'm not looking for that. I want a nice sweetness, but not too much. Um, even, there's people that if you can't have the sugar, you can completely leave the sugar out, and it's still delicious. Because we know that the sweet potato is naturally sweet. It does, Nicole, that's great. Sassy, they love too long. That's a lot of talking. What, what is he saying? Oh, Xbox Gaming is always on when the system is off. Is that right? That's interesting. Okay, I'm putting my white sugar in. Okay. And then, once we get everything nice and mixed, we'll have plenty of time to re-season if you need to um, after you mix it. You feel the need to re-season it after you taste it? Absolutely, you can. I'm doing what I can to keep no sugar. I don't want no sugar spilt because those little tiny ants will invade me. <laughs> they will. I can't stand those little ants. All right. Yo, my cabbage smells absolutely amazing. We'll go in here in just a few minutes and we'll stir that cabbage around and you can see what everything's looking like, okay? So let's do the daggone thing. Now, if I was turning this into sweet potato casserole, I'd be putting the egg in there. And it, it kind of makes this almost like a souffle when you do that. It, it makes it do something real fluffy and different, okay? Gina, I'm having fried chicken but seasoned it before I did my flour. Is that okay? Sure, it's fine, no, no problem. That's okay, Robin. I know, Saj, Saj, the ants, the ants, <laughs> the ant. let's not talk about the ants, my goodness. All right, so now I'm going to break it down a little bit before I begin to beat it. I just, I just hate when I begin to mix up sweet potatoes and they go all over the place, on the wall, everywhere. <laughs> right now. Okay, you want to move that trash can? Wee! Oh my goodness. It smells so good in here. I wish you all were here. If you guys were here, I would send everybody home with a big plate 
that you could eat for like two days. I would. Wait, look at that. Oh my goodness, and some. Sassy, come on. Saj, where are you at? Y'all get over here. Come on. Hoo wee. Great. This is doing exactly what I want it to do. Look at this, Nicole Stucco. I just kind of threw some names out there. <laughs> I love that I know you guys by name. <laughs> I do. Okay, let's continue. Picture uh, thing, your, your camera. <laughs> melted the butter of course I always use one stick one stick of some good butter in there here's what I'm gonna do it's not as smooth out as I want it to be um, but I want to taste it I want to taste it to see if that's the flavor that I'm looking for right I'm gonna put the cornbread in too I'm gonna um, present my sweet potatoes in here okay so let's taste cut bring the camera in so they can taste it he, he gave you a good taste, y'all. Whoever wants to taste this, come on and taste it. Let me. Mm. This tastes like my sweet potato pie filling. Mmm. Mmm. That thing tastes good. Mmm. Woo, it tastes good. I'm super excited. I feel like I want a little bit more ground nutmeg. I mean, not nutmeg, allspice. Okay. Just a little more. I just want to make sure I'm not making an excuse don't laugh at me I just want to make sure I don't need more sugar because that's a lot of potatoes right let's see Okay. I find the Ziploc bag to be more effective than the containers that hold your flour and your sugar. I live for a Ziploc bag because it works. I mean, that thing seals tight. And yes, you can find seal tight containers, but they never work for me. They have it. like the lawnmower. That sound like the lawnmower. Hold on. I, I got sweet potatoes on my chin. <laughs> Do I have sweet potatoes on my chin? I feel like it. Sassy, you got a yellow brick road driveway? What are they talking about? What just happened? I tell you what. When Michael Jackson and Diana Ross, when they walked the yellow brick road in the Wiz, they tore that thing up. I mean, they was ready for the world, right? They was up against the world. They was ready. And Michael, and so Michael being the scarecrow in the Wiz, um, 
You know, he was just learning. Hold on, y'all. How to walk. Michael was just learning how to walk. And for and so his legs, his legs were so wiggly like this, right? And his legs was moving. But, but when they started that thing, they was like, woo, woo, they, boom. I, they was getting the yellow brick roll. And I said, go, y'all. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy because they wasn't just skipping, you know. Usually, usually you be skipping the yellow brick road, but they wasn't. They was getting that thing, and I was happy. They had some rhythm on that road. They had some rhythm on that yellow brick road, right? We will. <laughs> we are. We're going to have to watch it. <laughs> We're going to have to watch it for sure. <laughs> Hey, there is Ron Wilson. Hello. Welcome. I tell you what, Ron, I just read your message. Prayer works. You hear me? Prayer works. It's great having you in here. Welcome back. So now take a look. I'm just using this gorgeous little baking dish to present my sweet potatoes. And if you want to, like, get... Real fancy, throw some pecans on there or your marshmallows. Just do what you can to make things look pretty, right? Gina got the move. Yo, Michael tore that thing up. He was like, whoo. He was like, come on, Dorothy, let's go. He, that's how they walked the yellow brick road. I laughed so hard. And what I was laughing at is how much rhythm they had. <laughs> This wasn't just skipping the yellow brick road, right? They was jamming down the yellow brick road. <laughs> Me too, Drew. You know I can.
paper towel under my cutting board. It prevents it from moving. So that's why I do that. Drew said, nope, he did. Anessa, yes, the songs were catchy. Okay, uh, um, Elise. Elise said the songs were catchy. It is. It was a good old school one. Uh-uh, Ron, I ain't doing it. Ron, I am not going to do it today. Take a look at these sweet potatoes is what Ron can do. <laughs> Tell me to sing a song. Look at that. Gorgeous. Now, at the very last minute, you can heat these up in the microwave or you can throw them in your oven just to keep them nice and warm. But this, done. Cabbage, almost done. Chicken and cornbread. And then, we're uh, happy. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my spices over here because I know that I will wind up having to re-season my uh, cabbage. So I'll put those spices nearby because I know I'm going to use them, minus the cinnamon. <laughs> I got some uh, butter out for so we can butter our cornbread. I go through a whole lot of paper towels. interesting and kind of cute. I did. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was kind of cute, but it wasn't nothing that like, you know how they say, did that, it didn't float my boat. <laughs> it's nothing that I wanted to watch again. Right? So I don't know. The look who's talking didn't do it for me. It just didn't do it for me. Ow. Hi, Frida. Hello. Welcome. It's great having you all here today. Yolanda says it was nice. I'm gonna put a little bit of plastic wrap on. Okay, gorgeous. All right. personality can't let me. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm a kosher person. You can tell Gina's affectionate personality can't let me. I'm not sure. Let you what? Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Misery was one of the craziest movies you could ever think of. My husband said that lady was completely nuts. 
Oh, Kathy hates that movie. Okay, okay. Oh, you hate those movies. Okay, Chris, I understand though. You've seen the, oh, somebody says, oh, Drew, that's nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, okay, so who's saying this? Let me see. Penny says, hold on. Penny says, I've never seen Michael Jackson in The Wiz. Penny, you have to watch it. It's just called The Wiz, W-I-Z. You must watch it. He is the scarecrow. It's like The Wizard of Oz, but it's called The Wiz. If you watch it, I, I think you may like it. This was a good movie. I really do. Kathy Bates scares her. I understand. I understand. It was sassy, right? Oh, okay. So let's, let me come around. And uh, I think we're okay for now, okay? Oh, you said it was a mind-bending movie? Wow. You know it's something if it's a mind-bending movie. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to flip the camera. I got to take the light away from the uh, kitchen. And then we're going to continue our conversation. <laughs> oh, Sassy, why is that so funny? Sassy said, uh, misery made me miserable. <laughs> Katrina said, the whiz is everything you most certainly are going to enjoy. Uh oh, there's my phone, y'all. Let me make sure. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Hello? Hey, honey. I'm recording. Is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't you dare. They got a question for you when you get home, too. The the audience, they want to know, what do you think about the beef with uh, Drake and Rick Ross? Yeah. He said, honestly, he thinks Drake has enough to handle everybody. That's what he said. That's his, that's his answer. <laughs> okay, honey. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just, um, just now. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> you get on my nerves. You get on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I love you. <laughs> um, no. No, unless you bring me back something special. All right, I love you. Be careful. Oh, that's so funny. Guess what Ron said? He said, I heard what he said. <laughs> he said, that's good. He said, me and Ron's right there. He said, that's my man. He said, <laughs> I'm getting off. I'm getting off. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you cannot pay me to watch the movie Exorcist. Oh, I know. Leroy. Mm, mm, mm. That thing's scary, ain't it? <laughs> mm. Y'all, yeah, we have such a great time. We have such a great time. I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, Vanessa.
Vanessa, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oh, Sanj, I actually remember that movie. I mean, I was young when that movie came out. Oh, Laura says she loved it. Look at there. Gina, have you ever seen a movie called Game with Michael Douglas? I was mad at the end of the movie because you feel like somebody needs to pay. <laughs> I never, I never seen it. I don't know. Can you please give me a water, Dakota? Yeah, we are, Eula. We are. So Eula brings up a great conversation. She says we're family. Y'all, we are. Just know it. Just know it. We Can you let the babies in? They've been in the sunroom by themselves, and they are staring at the door. Can you let them in? They look so pitiful. Please let them in. Let my babies in. Hey, your poop poop. Mommy love you, you good boy. They just woke up. Go ahead and get them. Oh, Nessa, thank you. But I tell you what. I had I, I did have to wear braces for nine months, but uh, but I, I'm just gonna be honest with you all. I smiled. I, I I've always been a person that smiled. Um, always always been a person that smiled. Um, so I, I just want to say that I always always smile before I had my braces and got my teeth fixed. But I have always been a person that always smiled all the time. I can tell you what. So, so I talked to two people that I haven't spoke to in over a year, which was my CPA, our CPA, and our realtor that helped us to find this house so we could purchase it. Okay. So I, I recently called her because we filed our taxes with our CPA just recently, and I needed a paper that shows like the commission of like who all got paid when purchasing this home and different things. But anyways, I couldn't find the paper in my papers. So I called her and I say, hi. So, so as I called the lady, um, I say, hi. all I said was hi. She says this, remember, before uh, I purchased this house, I didn't know her. Like, I didn't know her, so she doesn't know my voice. But when I call her, I say, uh, the phone rings, ring, ring, ring. I say, hi, and she say, Gina? I said, yes. She said, hi. She said, how are you? She said, I know your voice from anywhere. And all I said was hi. She said, you have a distinct voice that I will never forget. She said, and you're always so happy. She said, how are you doing? I said, fine. I told her some paperwork that I needed. She said, oh, I saved that. She said, I have it. I'll email it to you. But anyways, so I had the appointment with my CPA. Hold on, y'all. Uh, skip that. I had the appointment with my CPA. And you know, we had to talk to him throughout the year. But it's time for taxes, so I called him. And I say, hi. And he says, how are you? And he says my name. And I said, I'm fine. He said, I will never forget your voice. It was so weird that two people did that to me all within a week. He said, I will never forget your voice. He said, you are all you have. He said the same thing she said. It was nuts. He said, you always sound happy. And you have a voice that I can never forget. And I'm just looking at my husband like, are you hearing this? Because this is just what the realtor said, right? He's like, I hear it. He was like, I, I, he said, I guess I would agree with them. But I found that to be nuts. I, I thought it was just so nuts. Because all I said to the lady, I said, hi, <gasps> Gina. <laughs> I said, yes. I could never forget your voice. I thought, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me get back and, and see what you guys are talking about. Because I don't see a comment. I don't see a comment at all. Where's the comments? Oh. Oh, that 
that's a good movie. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't about to do it. I ain't about to sing you nothing right now. Everybody always knows you by your laugh. Okay, okay, that's super interesting. It is. It looks like I got about five minutes on my cornbread, y'all. Kimya, hello and welcome. I I like I like Drew Barrymore's personality. I like Drew Barrymore's post personality. So she has her talk show. I think it's absolutely so interesting. I think it's so amazing. And I like how she connects with the people that come on her show. It's so interesting. Is there anybody out there? Your favorite movie in the 80s was my... Oh, me too, Sassy. I love that. Remember Ron said that his son liked the My Girl movie as well? I just said last week that I love the My Girl movie. And Ron said that his son loved that movie. Oh, you can tell by your voice. Okay. Oh, what is she? Is she talking about Polder, guys? I see it says Carolyn. <laughs> Come towards the light, Carolyn. <laughs> wow. Oh, my girl, one and two. Come towards the light, Carolyn. That was the scariest thing ever. Boulder guys. Hi, honey. Hi, sweetie pie. I'm not picking you up right now. Dakota, take them outside to go pee pee. You want to go pee pee? Do you, you want them to pee pee? Gina, you and the, let's see. Okay, Miss M says, Gina. Are you the younger or older sister? And do you look alike? We don't look alike. I am the younger sister. I am the uh, younger sister. I'm the baby. Well, I was the baby. I have a little brother now that's in his uh, 20s. He should be like 26, I believe. Remember the lady told uh, Carolyn, the lady um, told uh, the mother of Carolyn on the polar guy. She said, tell her if she don't come out to TV, she going to get a spanking. <laughs> Do y'all remember that? <laughs> tell her she going to get a spanking. Do y'all remember? I remember the words. <laughs> Come to the light, Carolyn. Why was it so scary? And that little boy, his room was the scariest. He had that clown in there and that scary butt tree outside of his window. I couldn't have a tree like that outside of my window because I would be scared to sleep in my room. And that tree was out to get him, Saj. Saj, that tree was out to get him. <laughs> Oh, I remember that, Yolanda. <laughs> Y'all laughing at me. You always appreciate your kindness and welcoming heart to everyone. Hey, listen, uh, not just a choice for you. Thank you. See, I don't, I don't. A green mouth was good, Karen. I don't remember redemption. Uh, for some reason, I I don't know why I don't remember redemption. It's just like, it's not clicking for some reason. I feel like I may have seen the movie, but I don't remember it. Are both dogs in here? Okay, I got them. Oh, sassy, my goodness. <laughs> Jamani says that movie had me scared to look under the bed. <laughs> Y'all, all I was really scared of as a kid was thunder and lightning. I was scared of the thunderstorms. When it thunderstormed, I was scared. 
It was, uh, dog man. It was. It was. Hey, Charlene Bell. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Um, it looks like I got about two, three minutes, and my cornbread is... I, I'm not going to bore... Don't let me burn my cornbread, y'all. I'll be so upset if I do. Dakota, hey, Dakota's out there practicing uh, badminton. He out there practicing. He is practicing badminton. He better be practicing because I'm going to whoop his butt tomorrow in badminton. I'm going to whoop him in badminton. So he better be out there practicing because if it's a hot day out there, I'm getting it. <laughs> in badminton. S. Hughes or G. Hughes, hello. Nicole, it is. Yes, it is. <sighs> what? There's somebody that keeps saying, oh, no. Like, what is this about? Because uh, why do you keep saying, oh, no? I'm, I'm confused. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what we got going on. Don't burn your cornbread. Uh, Beverly, I'm getting up right now. I'm going to check it. Hold on. Oh, it looks so good. Hold on, guys. I'm taking the cornbread out. Now, I just said I'm taking the cornbread out. while it's hot. Putting butter on it while it's hot, that butter will seep down into that cornbread. And when your family makes their cornbread, you know, they won't have to re-butter it because I've already buttered the top. Look, it took it. Ah, yes. Come on, cornbread. Ooh, wee, you better make yourself. I am Dolores. Look at that butter right on top. Oh, and then I cut mine in like, sometimes I do squares. Sometimes I'll do little triangles. I'm going to put a little bit more butter and we're good. I tasted the cabbage. It needs more seasoning. So I'm going in with that same exact seasonings that I used earlier. And I'm going to re-season, okay? Yeah, I just licked the butter spoon. I love butter. Bear with me. We're getting there. I'm going to taste a little bit of my cabbage, okay? I want to see if it tastes good. If it tastes good, I ain't going to season it no more. She did, Sandra. She said, tell her you go... Tell her she's going to get a spike. <laughs> that's, what, that's how she said it. I have two slices left on your mom's peanut butter pie. Oh, my goodness, Penny. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Woo, that tastes good. Mmm. 
It tastes so good, I'm gonna taste that thing again. Shirley Clark, how you doing? Welcome. You have a sister named Marietta? I had to get some meat on there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Some, sometimes the food can be so good that it makes you dance. Okay. I'm a y'all, y'all y'all gonna go outside with me, okay? Hold on. Y'all gonna go right outside with me. Come on, follow me. Don't let the dogs out because I don't want to chase them. I don't want to chase them back in. All right. Hold on. Oh, you guys, I'm just gonna show you the badminton set where we was playing badminton this morning. Let me record you serving. No, you ain't going to record me serving. They already see me serving in the kitchen. Uh, they saw me serving that thing in the kitchen. Go ahead. Get over there on the other side, Dakota. The other side? Well, it ain't done yet. We got the chicken yet to go. Go, Dakota. Y'all did. Lynette said Gina, LOL. For real. For real. He talking about y'all show, show, show them you serving. I said, they, they saw me serving in the kitchen. See if I can go so this is where we're going to have a ton of fun out here this summer, y'all. I'm, I'm, no, I'm guaranteed we're going to have an amazing time, okay? We're going to have an amazing time. Okay, I'm scooting back and you can see a little more. Hoping... We got a ton of room here. <laughs> Look at Dakota, y'all. Go, Dakota. <laughs> all right, all right y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'll show y'all a little bit of work that we did um, to the yard. You'll see just a little bit. Hold on. So we're working on this. We put the lights and the mulch and we're just working on the brown parts of the grass is where we're killing the, the weeds and the grass. But um, it's, it, it's turning out really nice, y'all. It's coming together. We, we, we will get there. Uh oh, I got two dogs that's trying to get out this door, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Back into the kitchen. That's the sunroom we just went through. Okay, where's my other puppy? Okay. Get in here, boy. Oh, you love it. Hey, listen. This summer, it's going down out there this summer. We're going to have a ton of fun. Okay, all kinds of games. I told my holy king... He's, I don't think he's in this chat right now, but we're going to get the tent. Me and my husband already seen the tent at Menards. It's a huge tent we're going to put out there, uh, like a tent that you uh, camp in. And we'll put it on the ground, and then we'll do something fun where we turn around and we roast marshmallows and have, like, all kinds of fun. Okay, so I'm sure we can get some type of light out there, and we'll have a lot of fun. Shay, thank you. I, I love this one. Uh, I love this kitchen. It's perfect. Let me see your message. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, okay, great. That's nice. That's nice. Thank you. Shay, how you doing? 
it's beautiful outside. Now, it is a little chilly. I'm just going to be honest. Um, so if I was to go out there right now, I need a jacket. It's gorgeous, but it ain't hot. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. Are you sassy? Is sassy telling me the truth? Sassy, did you say that it's raining right now? I mean, snowing right now? Does Sassy say it's snowing right now? I I don't know if I'm reading that right. Are you kidding me? Hi, Jennifer, welcome. I don't know, Marietta. Like I told everybody, it's going to take some time. We're definitely getting a pool because I must have a pool. But the pool is super expensive. You couldn't imagine the price. So you guys have to just bear with. While we're saving our money, we will get the pool. And you, you guys know, as soon as we get that thing, you're going to be the first ones to know because I'm going to be recording it. Most likely as they're installing it and different things like that. For sure. But just know along the way, it costs a whole lot of money. <laughs> Yes, she did say it's snowing. I'm going to post it on my community post. Is that right? <gasps> Shay said, wow, snow. Oh, my goodness. It's 88 in your part in South Carolina. <gasps> mm, it's not that I wish it was 88 right now. Sometimes I poke holes in the top of my cornbread and the butter goes all the way through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what I've noticed is it, it's, it's porous. And, and what I mean by that is because it is a bread, if you put the butter on, you don't have to poke the holes. If you put the butter on while it's still hot, the butter goes through. It has no choice but to go through. Right? So I like to do it while it's hot. You don't have to poke holes in it. Oh, look at that, Dolores. Your brother and wife are having theirs installed. Mm -hmm. Super exciting. Chris, right. It's been very bad there in Dallas, has it? Spring is really an up and down type season. You bet. You bet. Look at him practicing. He practicing because he know I'm all on him. I'm on him, y'all. If the weather is nice in the morning when I'm having my coffee, he better be ready for me. He better be ready because I'm playing badminton against him and I will win. Uh-oh. Huh? He said, who better be ready? You better be ready. You ain't ready because you out there practicing. You out there practicing. Get Go ahead. Get ready. Continue to get ready. <laughs> Oh, Ron, I made turkey burgers today. <laughs> oh, Ron said he has to see it. What, what are you talking about? May can be fun too. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like May is still a little cold, you know? Uh-oh. They said, Dakota, you better be ready. He laughing. He laughing his heart out, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, let me see this message. Hey, uh, uh, what was I going to say? I thought I was going to say something that's sassy. Um... Oh, I oh I moved the whole chat, y'all. Help me. Um, uh, what I was gonna say, what, what was I gonna say? I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting what I was gonna say. I was gonna say something to sassy. What was I gonna say? I, I can't think of it, y'all. I hate that. That's right, it is. <laughs> yes, Taurus. Uh oh, Ron said he got a hundred on you, Dakota. <laughs> he said you better believe it. <laughs> he really acted like he could win. He 
he really act like he can win. Bring the snow. And guess what? Drew is serious when he says this. So don't take him for joking around because he always says that he loves the super cold weather. You love May, Chris? Okay. Yeah, May can be nice because you still get that spring, but you can still get an 88 degree weather, you know. And you will get right back on the plane. And you will get right back on the plane. What, what are they talking about? Oh, thank you, Jars Nate. Welcome in. I'm sorry I haven't seen you. Welcome in. Oh, look at Shay. Shay says it's 77 there. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Kimya. You know, we do all we can to um, treat for the weeds and um, just do what we can so we can have a vibrant yard. I know someone had asked, do we have a writing mower? We have somebody that um, we pay to come and cut the grass for us. So he has already been here two times to cut the the lawn for us. And he stands up like on a mower and he cuts the grass. Um, so, uh, but we have a lawn care service that comes, and it's not true green anymore, y'all. We was done with them last year. Uh, we found another lawn care service. They do the same thing. So they treat for like uh, fleas and ticks, uh, mosquitoes, they, you know, will help to fertilize your grass and take care of the weeds and stuff like that. So we're really particular about our yards. Happy anniversary. How interesting. Happy anniversary. Oh, Ron, happy anniversary. Tell Kat give Kathy a big hug for me. What's the number? What's the number? What number? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, that's right. You're welcome, Ron. Hi, sweetie. You're a good boy. Hi. You want to say hi to the people? Hi, honey. I love you. Hi, Poo Poo. You need your hair combed. How am I gonna pick you up and you need your hair combed? Oh, almost lost you guys. Dakota, I need to charge her, run quickly. Sorry, it looks like we lost connection for a second. Hurry up. Yes, we love you guys as well. Get the charger. Don't run through the screen. The screen is closed. Have you ever had somebody run through your screen door and just knock it completely off the hinges like they don't see it? <laughs> That's why I had to tell him, don't run through the door. The screen door is closed right now. <laughs> I had to tell him that. I've never done that. Get the charger quickly. This is about to die. Gina, do people recognize you in public and how do you react? They do. And it, it's, it's different. It's different. I appreciate it, but sometimes it can be a little scary, you know. Uh-oh. If you turn this light out, it'll look a little better in here. It, it's so bright in the kitchen. What's, let's see, Terrell Unknown, welcome in. Thank you for coming back in. Hold on, guys. Hold on one second. Stay right there. Stay right here, guys.
tasted chicken spaghetti, you must try it one time in your life, Jeannie Young style. It is so delicious. I'm not kidding you. Hold on, y'all. I'm just stirring my uh, cabbage around. And I'm tasting my cabbage. My chicken is almost done, and I'm going to turn the cabbage off in about five minutes. So we'll turn the cabbage off in five minutes, and the chicken is almost done. The kitchen's nice and clean, and I'm happy. I'm super happy. Yeah, it is, Terrell. It's beautiful out. Oh, 38 years. Look at that. My goodness. Shay, it is on YouTube. Oh, she says she'll search it up. What are you guys searching up? What's, up? What's interesting? What are you guys talking about? Hey, listen, on a serious note, when you guys think of a meal like this, do you ever think about how quickly this meal was put together? A lot of people veer away from making recipes like this because they think it's going to take too long. They do. They say, I'm not making that. I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Oh, yeah, I did. The chicken spaghetti Friday or Thursday. I can't remember. Sassy, I do so many videos. I can't remember what video I did yesterday. <laughs> I can't. I can't because I have so many recipes in my mind that is to that I'm on a to-do list and so many recipes that I've done. <laughs> I forget what I did yesterday. G. Hughes, hello. Ooh, Ron, that's amazing. You're looking up the chicken spaghetti. Oh, it's a recipe you need. It's so interesting. It is completely different from the regular spaghetti that we all know with the red sauce. Because... In this recipe, we're using chicken, of course, in a cheese sauce. And the noodles get coated in this cheese sauce, and it will rock your world. If you want your world rocked, <laughs> Jeannie Young's chicken spaghetti will do, will, will do the whole trick for you. <laughs> you say, man, Gina, Gina's chicken spaghetti, I think it just rocked my world. <laughs> You said the scars are gone long. I wonder what he's saying, long gone. Your granny and mama taught you about cooking meals and shortening the time. Oh, okay, you can cook quick too. Okay, okay, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look at the emoji of the chicken and the spaghetti. That's super cute. It's super cute. <laughs> Drew. <laughs> No tomato sauce. Yeah. No tomato sauce. You do use um, two cans of Rotel. Two cans of Rotel. But, um, you know, and that gives you like a little bit of tomato and mix with the cheese. It's the cheese sauce that does it for me for this recipe. 
Here, I, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there. Let's just say there's somebody out there that says, I don't want to put chicken in mine. Can I just make it without the chicken? Guess what? You could, and I can promise you, you're going to even love it that way without the chicken. Because something about that sauce that we make that coats the noodles is so stinking good. It's good. <laughs> I'm not kidding, Nita. Nita, I can't talk enough about it because I want the world to know how delicious it is. But with the cheese sauce, there is no rip. Yeah. Yeah, there's no red. There's no red. You see a little couple pieces of tomato going through, but it's 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 cheese sauce color. Oh, okay, G Hughes, you never had it, but you would like to try it. I I I, I believe you would love it. And now I like to tell people, <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> I like to tell people. Um, I like to tell people what. <laughs> I just don't know what I was going to say. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sick of forgetting things. I can't remember nothing. <laughs> Stop, Drew. I know that's right. It, right, but it ain't Gina's recipe without the right ingredients. You're right about that. Because you know me. What exactly are you talking about? Cheese sauce. Dog man, we're talking about um, the chicken spaghetti that I made the other day. I may have made it yesterday. Chicken spaghetti, Gina Young style. Totally amazing. Oh, so for, serve with garlic toast, Sharon? Yes. <laughs> Has Drew been good? <laughs> That's what Xander says. Gina, thank you so much for sharing all your amazing recipes. You are the best. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to do it till I can't do it no more. I enjoy what I do. It sounds quite tasty. It really is. It really is. I even feel for if there are some people out there that would like to try that recipe using seafood, I feel like you could and it would be good. There's going to be some people out there to say that cheese and seafood don't mix. I get it. I get what they're saying. I, I get it. But I feel like seafood would be good in that recipe. <laughs> Look at that. It's raining and I've had three naps today. It was so funny because it rained it rained one day. And I told my husband, I said, baby, I'm, I ain't got no energy today. I said, baby, I'm done. I've been in the bed all day. I said, am I sick or something? He said, no. T take a look outside. He said, that's why we feel like that. I said, you feel like that too? He said, yeah. He says, because it's been raining all day. Oh, he said he'd been on his best behavior today. See, look at that. Okay, Gina, I do feel overwhelmed with today's menu. Usually, you make it seem effortless. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm wondering if it's, you're a little overwhelmed with it today. Because when I first started this live... I said, when I do today's cooking, I'm not going to do a um, teaching tutorial. I said, I'm just going to cook the food. Y'all can watch me and we can talk about everything under the sun. So today's live was super different. I didn't teach in detail. You know how usually I'm like, first we're going to do this. Then we're going to do this. We're going to do this and that. And now we're going to cook it, right? I didn't do that today. I just talking to you guys about everything while I was cooking. So, I understand where you're coming from, Shay. 
I just wanted to see how that went. If I was just to cook and talk and not teach. And so that's what we did today. Okay. Delina, hello. Okay, what's this person say? I'd love to see your message right above Xander. Let's see. Um, I love to sleep. Oh, you love to sleep when it's raining. Okay. Oh, dinner rolls. You would have done dinner rolls. Yeah, we did uh, cornbread today because cornbread goes so well with cabbage. Cornbread and cabbage, like you, you're going to take some cornbread in your fingers and then you're going to grab some of the cabbage and you're going to eat it like that. Ha! <laughs> Woo, it's good that way. You can't really do that with a dinner roll, right? Mm -mm. I don't want those tacos that he has right now. I don't want those tacos, Drew. Okay, yeah, but if you hadn't, but if I hadn't seen you do it the way you did today, I would have never seemed complicated. Yeah, I understand. So I know where you're coming from. I know where you're coming from. I wanted to see how that went. Um, why not, Gina? Why not what? I'm not understanding. You got to go back and watch the sounds. Oh, it sounds good. Okay. Cornbread, it does. It goes with everything. I'm not a fan of the cornbread that's super savory and doesn't have any sweetness to it. If it don't have no sweetness to it, I'm, I'm okay on it. Some people make a cornbread, even homemade cornbread. If it ain't got no sugar in it, it don't taste good to me. It don't taste good to me. It's got to have a little tiny bit of sugar in it. <laughs> he said, nobody wants those tacos. Ah, oh, that's right. Mm -mm, I don't want it. Look at the tongue. <laughs> Look at the tongue. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is good. Jalapeno cheddar cornbread for sure. It's, it's almost like a Mexican cornbread for, yeah. Oh, you can, you can always rewatch it. Mm -hmm. What does a soul food wrap consist of? I don't know, are, are you talking about like an egg roll? And be specific and maybe possibly I can answer your question. It has to have sugar for me. Okay, you did shrimp Alfredo. Okay, and everybody loved it. That's great. Let's see, Miss Gina, have you saw my message about took it, look it, shirt, look it, took it? I haven't, I haven't, but you think that would be interesting for me to make that? It's, it's, it, it's a good thought. <laughs> wrap, that's what I meant to say. Okay, a wrap. You meant to say wrap. Um, if it was a soul food, I, I don't know. But when it comes to, I've never made that. But when it comes to a soul food egg roll, we could put collard greens in it, inside of your collard greens. Of course, there's going to be some type of meat in there, whether it's turkey meat or ham hocks. So you'll have little pieces of meat in there. You could throw in uh, baked macaroni and cheese in there, maybe possibly some corn and some rice. Wrap your egg roll up, fry it. You could even put turkey in there, leftover from the holidays with dressing. Okay, collard greens and baked macaroni. You roll your egg roll up, fry it until it's nice and crispy, and dip it in gravy. Ah, yo, mind blowing, right? So that's what I would consider a soul food egg roll. But when you talk about the wrap, I'm not sure. Yes, Gina, that's how you make it. <laughs> okay. Grilled chicken, sweet potatoes, and garlic bread. Yum, Nicole. 
You gotta try that. You bet you do. Absolutely. I can't. Oh, okay. I, I, for a second, I couldn't find my sweet potatoes. I was like, where'd they go? Okay, Anthony. Anthony um, X is a great question. How do you get seasoning deep down in your chicken and not just the skin? Well, one thing that I did in today's uh, cooking demonstration is how I wanted to make more flavor go into my chicken. Of course, we seasoned it and we seasoned the outside of the chicken, right? Number one, when I wash my chicken off, I use lemon salt and cold water. Not only does the lemon clean the chicken, but it leaves a great flavor. Okay, so I'm adding chicken in the beginning before even seasoning. Okay, we seasoned our chicken. But when I put my chicken in the pan, I decided to put some chicken bouillon powder in the bottom of my pan with some water. And the chicken will be sitting on that amazing flavor. And it goes all through your chicken. The bottom, the inside of the chicken, the whole piece of chicken will be flavored inside and out. Now, a lot of times I'll put a bed of fresh vegetables like um, onions, bell peppers, celery. You can put your chicken on top of that and the flavor from those veggies roast, it goes inside of your chicken. Now, if I'm cooking Haitian style chicken, check me out. If I'm making Haitian style chicken, I cut slits into the chicken. And then I rub my seasoning into the slits of the chicken, okay? So now, when I cook Haitian style, and then when I cook American style, it's different. If you see any of my Haitian chicken recipes, you'll see me cut slits into the chicken. No matter what piece I'm using, I take a sharp knife, cut slits in it, and then I put my A-piece uh, seasoning down in there. And you talk about a chicken that is so super flavorful. You That's so funny, Ron, because he is. He's home, but you hear the dogs. You hear the dogs barking. That's super funny. They know when he pulls up. And my camera just detected him one minute ago. <laughs> Let's see. I can make you. Let's see. Drew told me to say it. Let's see what you guys were talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, they don't sell. I don't want that type of egg roll that Ron is serving. He that that egg roll don't sound good. I won't be eating. Hi, sweetie pie. How are you? How you doing? Good. You got yourself a special. You did. Got a special for you. What'd you get? Yes. You want to show what you got? Okay. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Thank you. My goodness. Thank you. Wee. <laughs> That's a surprise. Yo, so I have right here some pretzels. Look at the pretzels. Oh my goodness. There's like a jalapeno cheese sauce in the bottom. I'm going to eat this. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it right now. now. What is it, baby? Thank you. No. Yeah. Thank you. There's a jalapeno sauce. Let's taste it, cause I do want to eat dinner, but we're gonna at least taste it. We can taste this together. <laughs> Mom, are you kidding me? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah. You don't like pretzels? Oh, my goodness.
Jamaican pepper steak? I have not. He said, Ron. <laughs> he said, Ron, he said, you're his brother from another mother? Yeah, yeah. Mm. 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 Yellow. I love a good pretzel. The pretzel is soft. It has a tiny bit of salt. When I have a pretzel, I don't want a pretzel that has a ton of salt and I got to rub it off. If I have to rub the salt off, it's too salty. I don't want it. But I don't want to eat all of these right now because I got dinner. Mm. My husband said, do you want anything back? And I said, no. He said, are you sure? And I said, no, I don't. And then he get back to me. I said, just bring me a surprise back. Mm. I'm happy with that surprise because I love a pretzel. Y'all funny. Y'all cutting up in here tonight. Y'all are cutting up. Man, that was good. Mmm. Mmm, that tastes good. Mmm, I love a pretzel. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like my chicken could possibly be done. Gina, is your cabbage still cooking? I'm turning it off. I'm going to turn it off. But what I did, Sassy, was the last time you guys see me over there, I turned it on low. So it's, it's definitely okay. And I tasted it. It tastes so good. My goodness. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And I believe it's time to take our chicken out, okay? Yeah, I am, uh, Shirley. Thank you. Oh, you're about to make some mozzarella cheese sticks. Jeannie Young style. Mm. Oh, they had raisins for theirs? Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me see. Nothing's going to be wrong with the cabbage because I turned it on low. Okay, so no worries. I'm doing okay. Welcome in, Jamaica. Let's, um, I'll flip the camera here in one second. Our chicken, perfectly done. It's gorgeous. I'm going to turn the light up on high so y'all can see me when we flip it back over, okay? Let me get this out first, okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the chicken. When you make, when you, when you guys make my baked chicken, it will turn out crispy like this, okay? So, uh, if you just follow everything that I did, it's going to turn out like this. So now pan down and just show them how gorgeous, how well seasoned, and how crispy the chicken is. Yo. This is what I long for. That right there, let's try to pick it up. Crispy. Crispy. Flavorful at the bottom. Oh. Ah. And it's going to be good. And even when I eat a piece, I know, I know. When I eat a piece of that chicken later and it's cold, it's going to taste even better. <laughs> I like cold chicken. All right, so come on and follow me. I want to um, cut some of our cornbread, okay? I'm going to be mindful that I don't cut my pan because I love that pan. I'll just be real gentle. 
I'm not gonna scratch my pan. Someone said, are you done cooking? I'm done cooking. Done cooking dinner is ready. And we have, okay, we got chicken. We got cornbread. We have sweet potatoes. I know. <laughs> Woo! Hold on. And we have um, cabbage. So let me bring the cabbage into the equation so you can see what it looks like. Okay. You've already seen the chicken. Look at the cabbage. Come on, cabbage. Oh my goodness. Dinner. Dinner is served. It wasn't hard. It wasn't hard. It was easy, quite naturally. Mm. <laughs> mm. How about we make a plate? But before we make our plate, we'll turn around. Let's say an amazing prayer. After our prayer, we'll sit down and we'll eat a little bit. We'll chat a little bit and we'll see how the evening goes. So, Heavenly Father, on today, we like to thank you for loving us. Hold on. Dear God, I thank you for your mercy, your love time, and your understanding. Let peace be still over all of our households and our minds. No weapons formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful meal, and we thank you for feeding us in the roof over our head. Please forgive us for our sins in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything that you've ever done our whole life. Thank you for the things that you will continue to do in our lives. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind that evil devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Let that devil know he stands no chance. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Once again, we thank you for this meal. Amen. All right, so now let's make a plate and bring in the great conversations. Um, we can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. If you have a great conversation that we can talk about, uh, let me know and uh, or write it down. And when it, we have time available to talk about something, we can. I want to get a plate. Let me ask my husband because my husband just brought home Dairy Queen. If he just ate, I might not have to make his plate. Dakota, go see. Go see. He may have eaten already. I heard him. He just said he didn't know dinner was going to be done. He may have eaten. What'd he say? He said he's going to eat when he watches the fight. He's going to eat when he watches the fight? What time does the fight come on? Six? Or no, seven or eight? I'm going to make myself a somewhat of a small plate. But we're going to eat. We're going to eat. I want sweet potatoes. Oh, wait. Yes, look it. Took it. Ah, wee. All right. And I want a piece of cornbread. It starts at 
Look at that cornbread. Look at the cornbread wheat. Lord, thank you once again for providing food for us. I also want to say a special prayer for any of the homeless and the starving that needs a meal and they need a, a shelter. May they receive meal, may they receive a meal in Jesus Christ's name and some type of shelter. And Lord, I trust that you hear these prayers and you answer them in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. All right, there's that. Here's the cornbread. Okay. Look at that. Perfect meal. What a great meal for a Saturday. Super simple to make. You know, I wasn't having to hang over the hot stove all day. And if I would have fried chicken, we would have been in here a little bit longer, right? That fried chicken would have still been cooking. And so I'm glad, I feel like I made the perfect decision. Okay, turn my oven off. Let's rock and roll, let's have some food. I'm coming right around, I got, I meant to make some Kool-Aid on the live, but I forgot. I forgot, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? Gonna make apple cobbler for dessert? Wow. Hold on, hold on y'all. Dakota, my lighting is not right. Can you help me? Delina, hello Delina, welcome. Put the honey on there. I don't, I used honey. We, we made uh, a break. I don't know if y'all know what a break is, but when we made that break, um, we used the rest of the honey. Uh, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that, Dakota. Are you kidding me? You better wash your hands. Okay, okay, okay. How am I going to get y'all to look at it? Here we go, y'all. Look, y'all. Somebody tell me if the if this chicken don't look fried, I don't know. I it, If I'm lying, then I'm flying. Does this chicken look fried? I, I don't want hot sauce today. And then there's the sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh, it does. It looks fried. Throw some hot sauce on that cabbage. <laughs> he said throw some hot. Everybody's saying hot sauce. I don't want hot sauce today. I know my husband will. Look at the cabbage. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate it. I try hard. I care about what people eat. <laughs> And I also care about the recipes that I share with you all. I really do. Mm, mm, mm. Sweet potatoes, anybody? Mashed sweet potatoes, anybody? Take a bite. Cornbread, anybody? Soft cornbread, anybody? Mm. and the butter it did the butter you can taste the butter all as long as you put your butter on while it's still hot the butter soaks through the whole thing you don't have to poke holes in it man 
man, it tastes good. I'm, t I'm not kidding you. Sometimes I can't help but to dance when it tastes that good. Some type of dance will happen. Look at this. Uh, now, can you see the seasoning? The seasoning is there. Oh, it's super exciting. Are you kidding me? I would, but my girls won't eat sweet potatoes. Oh my goodness, or mashed potatoes. Wow. The skin is crispy just like I fried it. Mm, 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 mm. I wish there was somebody I could smack right now. I was, mm, mm, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, go tell it on the mountain is right. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> go tell it on the mountain is right. What am I talking about? Do the dance again. I had to. <laughs> Have some. Mmm. Making me a plate. You're making some? Well, you're going to enjoy it, I tell you. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That, that, that. Mm. I like sharing my food with you all. Love sharing my recipes with you. I'm going in for another piece of this chicken. I don't know why I only got one piece. only got one piece because I'm not a person that... Like I said, and I've told y'all this forever and a day, I can't eat a whole lot. But guaranteed, before the night is over, I'm going to have about two more pieces of chicken wing. These are whole chicken wings. Mm -mm -mm. I know you lying. I know you lying if you said this ain't good. Because mm, it's so good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Mm. You didn't leave that birdie outside, did you? Don't leave none of them because we don't want them to actually get ran over by the lawnmower, right? Are you going to go play? Mm. Why? The meat is so super tender. I'm going to be honest with you. All of the different types of chicken that I bake, I love baked chicken wings. Because it's something amazing about that skin that gets super crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I eat the gristle that's on, I do. This is the gristle. I eat the gristle that's on the chicken wing. I do. Mm. And it tastes good. Ah. <laughs> Rose says, go on, Gina. <laughs> I did. I did. I did that like nobody was looking, and it's a ton of people looking right now. It's completely nuts. <laughs> but like I said, as I have met you all, and we've done these live sessions, I can be myself. What you see on here is me being myself and just having a great time enjoying you all's company. You all are my company. You really are. Mm. I do like chicken thighs. I like chicken thighs. I do. Somebody, can somebody just tell me that you see the juiciness? Do you see that where it's, ju do you see where it's ju 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 juicy? Oh. Mm. Mm. This is an interesting question. What's your favorite wild animal and why? Um... really have to think about that because I don't know um 
I do like the, uh, I can't even think of what it's called. I like the cheetah. I don't know. It's such a hard question for me to answer. Because there's so many animals that I could say, oh, I love that animal. I don't know. I tell you what. Oh, you like the panda? What a great one. What a great one. Hi, Pamela. Um, when we go to the zoo, I love the zoo. Now... I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. For those of you that don't know where I grew up at, they have like the best zoo ever. Um, and when we go to the zoo, I have the most fun you could ever have in a lifetime. When I see the flamingo, this is true. This is true. And it may make you laugh or you may say, oh, how cute. When I see the flamingos, I go nuts because they glisten in the sun. They're standing on one leg and they are the most beautiful creature you ever wanna see. It's just the flamingo, but they are gorge. The color is amazing, right? It's like seeing a color in the rainbow. It is beautiful. That pinkish, orangish, opaque color that they have, the flamingo is the bomb.com to me. I think they're gorgeous. I know. I see you saying, oh, but it smells bad, but I love the zoo. <laughs> Look at the flamingo. <laughs> Shay, that's so cute. <laughs> Drew, those are so cute. So Judy says you love the monkeys. Now, I also love to see the elephants. When you go and you see the elephants, it's like, it's like shocking at how big they are. Also, I like to see the giraffes because they're super cute, right? And then I like to see, guess what? Guess what else? I love to see the penguins. The penguins are so, they be slipping and sliding on that ice. They be going in. I love when they go in the water and their tails is just wiggling above the water. I love to see the penguins. So, so when you ask me what's the favorite wild animal, I, now, me and my husband got really close up to the lion. And we said, there's one right there. You know, and you're standing at that glass just looking like there's one. And they are just gorgeous. And they pay you no attention because there's so many people viewing them. But the lion is amazing. The lion is amazing. So many different ones. Oh, yours is the wolf and the eagle. Okay, I swear we seen an eagle today. Baby, what kind of bird was that? That's what it looked like. It looked like it was, it looked like it really was an eagle. No kidding, Thomas. I, like, no kidding. So I was in here and my husband said, you got to come see this. We was looking up and underneath his wings was white with a little bit of brown. And I said, that's an eagle. It looked like an eagle. Yeah, it was huge. It was flying like an eagle. Yeah. It was. You think? Yeah, I, boy, that was, that, that had to be, that was something. He said that had to be. He looked like he eat birds. He said he looked like he eat birds. <laughs> oh, somebody said a hawk? Yeah, it could have been. It could have, it was the most beautiful, and he was just sailing in the wind, but he was big. He had a huge wingspan. He was flying so confident. He was, <laughs> he was so confident, like. He know he ain't to be playing with. Mm. Um, so right. the zoo is really, really fun to me. Now, last time we went to the zoo, we went to the petting zoo. And I actually got, like, I was in the goat thing. I was in the goat to where I, in the goat thing to where I could pet them. They were not scary and they were the cutest things ever. So I'm going to just tell you there's a ton of stuff. Guess what my husband, baby, when did you call me a moose? <laughs> <laughs> my husband called me a moose. <laughs> and the first thing I thought about was Drew. Drew would love to hear that. I can't remember. We was laughing about something. 
It was so funny. He was just kidding around, but it was super funny. No, you told me. You said. <laughs> you said I know. I know you ain't. I know. I know. I know like you. I ain't no dog or you know, or something. You said something about a dog. Uh, I said you is not a dog. You a moose. He says he said that I said something about I know I ain't no dog or something. My husband says something. We can't remember what it was, but it was funny. We both were joking around. He said, No, a moose. The first thing I thought about was they would love to hear that in the chat. They would just crack up. <laughs> okay, Gina let summer at the Cincinnati Zoo. You was able to walk through the trail. See the kangaroos and that's something out in the open. I see, I love stuff like that. It's true. It's true, Drew. It's true, Mildred. Whatever we was talking about, we was kidding, but it was funny. But, oh, you like goo the, the geese? The geese hiss at you. <laughs> the geese hiss at you and they kind of scare you with that long uh, tongue. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. I have a great time with you guys. Let me think about another animal. I tell you what's really interesting to look at, but I do find it yet to be scary. The ostrich is scary to me. The ostrich is scary to me. When I think about that big egg that they lay, it's super scary. And I think about how big their body is. They look different. And they scare me. We are. We're talking about zoo animals. <laughs> I like the zoo, but the only part of the zoo that we don't like is if it's super duper hot. And then you're trying to walk and find all the fun places. And every animal so far apart. And every animal so far Ooh. apart. Some of them be hiding because they hot too. And then we like, let's go. We've been walking too long. It's too hot out here. What about a safari? I'd rather go on one of Ooh, has any of you all been to a safari? Yeah, on a safari, yeah. On a safari? Yeah. Like riding in the cars where you could look like they can come up to your car? I would love, baby, would you do it? Yes, I want to do it. You want to do it? Would you have your, would you have your window down? I just want to be high enough where he can't reach me. No, you, no, okay, okay. What do you mean, no? He said, what do you mean, no? <laughs> He said, what do you mean? No. no. Okay, okay. Have you seen where they can come up to your car and you can feed them? I'm not, no. I want to see the lions. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not. No. I don't want, I want to see stuff that will bite your arm off if you do that. Oh, you want to see lions. Cheetahs and, 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 and hyenas. See, and, I don't want the window down for that. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. See, I must be talking about like deers and yeah. stuff. Uh, you talking about and, a pony. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about deers and llamas and stuff. Okay, so you want to see, like, the lions. Yeah. So what would we have to be in to see those without getting hurt? Just the tall trucks. They real, real tall on the side where they can't get to you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they would tell you, sir, you can't get out. I would be trying to get out. <laughs> you nuts. <laughs> You'd be trying to get out. Heck no, I wouldn't. Nicole, that's a great one. The uh, in the dining room, dining room. Can you make me one? No. <laughs> oh, you did it, but you rode on a tram. So that's probably what we're gonna have to do. I do remember you telling me that, Mildred. Ayula says hi, Mr. Young. Tell everybody he said hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kimya said no thanks. I, I really feel like I would love it. Whether I'm doing a thing like my husband wants to do, he wants to see the scary stuff. He wants to see he wants to see the, the cheetahs. I'm sure you want to see like the lions. Nobody's gonna sleep with that. Yeah. You'll be like, I'm sleeping, all I hear is roaring. <laughs> Listen. I, I will go to sleep with the lie. I yeah. So, <laughs> there is, and there was a point in time where my husband was on like this binge where all he wanted to watch was Wildlife Animal on the iPad. I get to it every now and then. 
Like yeah. he just said, he I'll get into back. it every now and then. And yeah. every now and then he will go back to it. Yeah. But anyways, so I could be asleep in the bed. I'm, I'm asleep. And then all of a sudden I hear this. I'm like, what is happening? Or, oh, ow, oh, oh. I'm like, what is, I look over and it's the animals. He's watching the animals and he's all excited. <laughs> He's all excited. I know. And I say, or I'll just open my eyes and look to see what's happening. What was the noise? It just freaked me out. <laughs> you know, or, or you hear like munching and it's like an animal that might be munching on a, another small animal. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. But he, 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 he liked those animals. So he would love the safari. I It does sound I, funny. Remember I used to get mad when the, the, the male lions would kill them babies. And you'd be like, I'd be like, no, that ain't right. You'd be like, that's part of their life. <laughs> yeah, he would get mad when the male the male lions would kick the uh, other no. male lions out. No, no. no. Or, eat eat, or eat, eat the babies. The babies. He, would, he would eat the babies so he could go mate, you With know, the, yeah. or meet a new female lion, lioness. And my husband would be like, see, this ain't right. And I would say, baby, this is, like, that's their nature. Can we watch something else? It's true. Oh, it's a true story. <laughs> you should see the smiley faces in here. They are cracking up. Thank you, sweetheart. Mm. I tell you what, you're want some of this because this was delicious. I'm going to eat when it's, uh, yeah. Gonna eat, uh, yeah, I'm going to eat during the fight. That's all I can eat yeah, right I'm gonna, now. I'm going to wait till the fight comes on. Thank you. And eat before the fight. So you're going to eat before the fight. Yeah. What time does the fight come on? Probably about 9, 30, 10. Okay, I'm going to watch the fight with you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the coffee. Yeah. It's true, y'all. He likes the wildlife that much. Mm -hmm. I say, man, or you hear, Mwah. I say, what in the world? It's cows or something. Something's happening. <laughs> Kim, yeah, it's cracking up. Let me see. A screaming fox? Hyenas are disrespectful. Is that right? Are what? they? Who, who are they disrespectful to? They will eat you alive. Mm -hmm. They eat animals alive. Oh, oh, see, I didn't know Sassy. I don't know much about them. I know that there's a I know a couple things about them. <laughs> females run hyenas. The females run the hyena. Yeah, that's the matriarch. She's the hand honcho. Yeah. The boys is nothing with in hyenas. Wow. Nope. They just use them to make a baby and tell them to get about get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Y'all, he said you're gonna watch Tyson and Jake Paul fight in July. I'm gonna watch it. He said he'll watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Thank you, baby. You got both babies. Yeah, they both right here. Did y'all have a great time tonight? you guys had a great time tonight i had a splendid time i wasn't feeling the best before i came on here was i honey? they always cheer you up he said y'all always cheer me up and you do it hey tell us let me get some of their numbers so <laughs> when you, yeah when you start acting a certain way with me they'll they can get you in a good mood okay okay he Give said <laughs> he said he need a few of y'all numbers yeah, they put smiles on your face <laughs> he said because y'all because y'all put smiles on my face he said because uh cool. before i went live I wasn't looking too good. <laughs> he said, as soon as you got on the live with them, you you hold everything brightened up. He said, I need their number so I can tell them. <laughs> but, but, you know, when I tell y'all that you brighten up my days too, you really do. It's true. It's true. I have a great time with you all. I really do. And I appreciate you. That's why I said I hope that I can make you guys day just as wonderful. I really do. <laughs> sure. They said sure, Mr. Young. <laughs> oh. Well, what was going on with me? My stomach was bothering me. But 
we know the issue of the stomach. We know that I got to get the surgery. And uh, my insurance, I haven't spoke to you guys about my insurance yet, but this new insurance that I have signed up for, <clears throat> my new insurance kicks in May 1st. So right after May 1st, I'll be getting my surgery done. So um, I'm just ready to get it done and out the way. So I don't have to have days where I'm sick. I don't have to have days where I need the iron infusions and all this stuff, you know. So everything's coming quickly, you know, to where all of that will be to a halt after surgery. Most likely I won't need iron infusions anymore. And just things is working its way out. Uh, working its way through. To where I can finally say this too shall pass. Because I told you nothing will never not pass. So before I went live, my stomach was hurting my baby. And he said, he said, baby, what's wrong? He said, I can tell all in your eyes. I said, my stomach's hurting. I said, it hurts every day. <laughs> That's what I said to him. That's probably how I said it to him, too. He was like, well, and I start walking down the steps. He was like, well, I love you, baby. <laughs> but when he had called me when I was on the phone, I was on the phone and you guys were on here. He said, look at you. You sound good. He said, you didn't look good when I, he said, he said, you didn't, you didn't look good when you walked down the steps. He was like, now you sound good. He said, you must be, you're on the live, ain't you? He said, you on the live. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Okay. And that's Sassy saying that. Sassy told me that she had a snake and I'm sitting here looking at the message that she afraid of snakes. Y'all, I believe Sassy for so Sassy been telling me for so long that she got a snake. And she don't. She don't. Let me see. Ah, oh, Sassy. I thought you had a snake for real in real life. I thought you did. Oh, I'm okay. Uh uh Kim, yeah. <laughs> There's the number. <laughs> Call me and tell me. I uh, you can have my number, Mr. Young. I know. <laughs> oh, that's great. Glad the chat cheers you up. It it does. It does, like I said, grateful because I was not feeling good. But the good Lord, but like I said, I pray before I come on here. I ask God, give me the strength. Give me the energy, the courage, and the will. Thank you for the gift that you've given me to share with this world. If the people want to pray, help me to find the right words. Like I say a whole, there's like a whole thing that goes down before I hit that button. Lord, I invite you into the live. You know, I, I say a lot. And so I'm grateful because it is true. Just what my husband said. You wasn't feeling good, but uh, as soon as you clicked that button, you was good. I prayed. I prayed before I got on here. And so I thank you, Lord. Oh, that's funny. Nope, I was playing with Gina. <laughs> Ain't no way I could be a snake owner. <laughs> I could be near a snake. Good, clean, fun. Good, great conversations. Stacy, amazing. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. If I can brighten someone's day with my presence or my conversation or, you know, if I can just brighten somebody's day, that makes me happy. Oh, Kimya, thank you. Y'all, I love you. I love you. I do dearly. I do. The Sky song back in the day? Uh, is it? No. Is it? Is it? The Sky song? I remember Phil Perry called me. The Phil Perry song called me. That's the one that I remember. Mildred, if anyone... Have a place where you can feed the animals. Oh, okay. Where is Port Clinton, Ohio? Wildlife Park located in Port Clinton, Ohio. Wow, that's super interesting. You feel the same way when you get on here, Ron. Wow. No, I'm not leaving yet. I'm drinking uh, coffee. I'm just, hey, I'm just getting started, I think. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get on. I'm staying on here. But I do have some coffee my husband handed me. Yes, thank you, Ron. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, Stacy, absolutely. It's okay. Because like I said, I know that this too shall pass. And when I talk about that, I'm just talking about the uncomfortness of, uh, you know, I need surgery. And once I get to surgery, I'll be all, all good. And then I'll be back on the up and up and then we'll be rolling again, you know. Oh, grateful. I have all the faith in the world that it will go well. I have a great team of surgeons and I feel like they have my best interests at heart. I have already prayed over them. I've prayed over everyone that will be involved in the surgery that is yet to come and everything's going to work its way out. And as I'm healing, I'll do like I did when I had my mommy makeover. I'll go live every once in a while and all depending on how much pain I'm in. I might not be in that much pain. All depending on how I feel, I may go live like, you know, often. And you guys can still see me. You know, you're going to wonder how I'm doing, how I'm holding up. I'll, I'll just click that button. I will. I'll just click that button and then you'll know. <clears throat> I I feel like I, like, as I was healing from the tummy tuck and the breast lift and everything, I feel like I did a good time, a good job with keeping you all notified with what's going on. I feel like I did a, a pretty good job keeping y'all notified. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. D -d 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 -d. Hold on. I'm looking at messages. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, there we go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm nuts. I'm nuts, y'all. I think you guys will have a ton of fun with me. My husband is in the next room. He's in the sunroom. If he just see me do that, I know he just would like to say, oh, this girl's something else. She's something else. <laughs> he ain't paying me no attention. <laughs> he ain't paying me no attention right now. Oh, you don't like the hot drinks unless it's tea. Sometimes I got to laugh to keep from, oh, I understand, Drew. I understand. I've had that happen before. Yeah. Yes, Maggie. Maggie Cleaves, thank you. Yep. Uh, Drew, absolutely praying for your grandmother. And like I told you, I, I just feel like everything will be okay. It, it'll be okay. I, so I'll drink, tea. it's rare. It's, it's very, very rare that I'll drink tea. And when I tell you it's rare, it's so super rare. Like we don't have tea a lot. Let me see Drew's message. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we sent prayers up. Um, if she's in hospice, <sighs> hospice is an end of life. Like, I don't know if I want to say treatment. Hospice is the end of life care where they take care of you when it's beginning to be the end of your life or they feel like that. But like I told you, Drew, your grandma lived a long time. You hear me? Like, could you imagine? I don't know if you told me 85. I don't remember what you said her age was, but she lived a long life. And so, like, I'm going to tell you what I said the other day. Um, what I told you the other day, if you forgot it, is absent from the body is present with the Lord. And I'm hoping that that can bring you some type of peace to know that. Um, and it, I don't know um, if she's, like, sick right now or if she had health issues 
you know, throughout her life. Um, but <clears throat> the, the sickness goes away. That all the pain goes away, you know. <clears throat> and I just pray in the name of Jesus that God will bring you, Drew, some type of grace and peace. Uh, peace over your mind that you know that, you know, you know your grandmom loved you, right? And you know that you loved your grandmom. As long as you have that in your heart, your grandmom will never leave your heart. You can say, my grandmom is right here, right? Because guess what? My grandmom, Grandma Lucille, <coughs> listen, Grandma Lucille is in here. Like, like she's, it, she's embedded in my heart. And I wrote her name on my right ankle, going down my right ankle. So she would never go nowhere, right? Now you can't go nowhere, you know. But uh, I was in my 20s when I met my husband. I think I was 20 when my grandma died. And I thought it was just going to be the end of the world. But it wasn't. But also, I don't go a day. I don't go a single day without thinking about Grandma Lucille. She was the best thing ever since sliced bread. You hear me? I will never forget the love that she gave me. Um, but um, somehow God gives us grace. Grace to uh, go through it. Grace to understand that she's in a better place. And just the grace to have, listen to me, just the grace to have the great memories. Do you, what if I didn't have any memories? But I had so many memories, good memories, right? And when you get good memories, nothing can erase those memories. Nothing could erase those memories. You said she thought you could be a comedian. And if you ever decide to pursue it, or you just like, you know, what, even if you don't, or you just say, I'm just going to be a funny guy. I want to make everybody laugh all the time. Whether you do that too, just know that your grandma is going to see everything that you do and she's going to be proud of you. I'm telling you, she's going to be proud of you. She's going to see everything you do. It's so true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as I think about my grandma, I, I would never want her to live in pain. Okay, check me out. I would never want her to live in pain. I wouldn't want her to live with health issues. Right? You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't want her to live uh, where she's not healthy because I just want you to stay forever. Because as we know, people can't stay forever, right? But you keep those good memories and you never forget your grandma because she ain't gonna forget you. Hearts for Drew, absolutely, we love you. Lucy, I'm making you hungry. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Oh, no, it's okay. You know what? It don't matter. It don't matter. Men, real men cry, right? And that's what my husband will always say. Real men cry. Ain't nothing wrong with you crying. You hear me? Uh, you hear me. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. Whether you're the toughest man in the world, a thug, or whatever you want to say. Real men will cry, and it's okay. Because we all have feelings. <laughs> I'm a thug, yo. <laughs>
the lady, the lady that lives next door to me, her mother was 91 years old. When we moved in, she said, my mom lives next door to you. She's 91 years old. And she said, I live behind you. And so she lives behind me far, far, far away, but I can still see where she lives. But I noticed that there was a bunch of cars. Well, I noticed that pe people would come in and out, and I believe it was people taking care of her. You know, maybe nurses daily or whoever, healthcare workers to come in and take care of her. But then I noticed one day there was like an ambulance and then there was something else. And um, me and my husband pulled up in the driveway. And my husband said, oh, there's the daughter. He said, jump out and go say hi. I said, hi. I said, hi. She hadn't seen me since we moved in in October. And that was the first time she met me, first time she ever talked to me. We introduced ourselves, you know. But she remembered me by, my, by name. She remembered my husband by name. And as she's walking towards me, she said, my poor mom is dying. And I thought, oh, man. She said, hospice is in the house. And she said, um, I don't know what to do. So this is our second time ever talking. I don't know her. But I, you know, I met her when we moved in. She said, my mom lives there. And I live behind you. I said, give me a hug. That's what I did. She, she don't know me from Adam. I said, give me a hug. I just held her. I just held that lady. I know my hair was all in her face. I just held her and held her and held her. I said, it's going to be okay. I said, your mom lived a long life. 91, could you imagine? And so, I'm sorry if you're putting messages in because I'm not reading them. I said, uh, 91's a long time. She said, I know. She said, but I'm hurting so bad and I'm so scared. And uh, she said, when you seen that, I told her I seen the ambulance. She said, yeah, they came to put my mom in the hospice bed because she'd been sitting in a chair for a couple days. She said, so they finally got her in there. She said, but uh, she seen her, she said, I, she said she had a stepdad. She said he was absolutely amazing. She said that was my mom's husband. She said she told me. She said she's in and out of sleeping, but she told me that she's seen him and he's rocking her in the rocking chair. I said, let me tell you this. I said, it's not a hallucination. This is what I told her. I said, they tell you when you pass that your loved ones will come get you. It's It's been like a known fact that hospice nurses will say, they will see their loved ones, loved ones come and get you when it's time. So I told her, and I believe that. I told her, I said, so when she said that, I said, just know it was, she said, she's not talking a lot, but when she do talk, she'll tell you what she's seeing. She said, so her husband was holding her and rocking her in the rocking chair. I said, when she's seen that, just know at that time, he was really there and she really did see him. I said, he came to get her. She broke down and she said, you have made me feel so much better. I told her, I said, remember, absent from the body is present with the Lord. I said, and we cannot change what's in the Bible. I said, it's written. It's the truth. She said, could you imagine? I said, no. I said, but that's where, that's, What's going to happen? She said, it's like she has one foot in and one foot out. And then a couple days went by. And then last Saturday, I think it was last Saturday, she passed away. Or the Saturday before that. But uh, I told her it was going to be okay. And I may have, like, so we would stop talking. We would let go of each other. And then so about three or four times, I was just holding her and hugging her. Somebody that I don't even know. She don't know me. She just met me once for five minutes and that was it. So she was, my husband was outside day before yesterday. She, I guess they're cleaning out the mom's house or doing some yard work or whatever. She saw my husband and she said, I talked to your wife the other day. She said, and she 
made me feel so good. She said, I was truly struggling with what was going on. She said, your wife made me feel absolutely amazing with what was going on with my mom. And she said, I just want to let you know that. And my I don't know what my husband said, but he came in and told me. And I said, that makes me feel great because that's what I, I wanted her to know. It's going to be okay. And she then she started talking about her, the lady's husband. That was her stepdad. She said he was the best. And so she can't imagine him coming to get her. I said, it, it, it's not a hallucination. He was there. She said, I was there when she said it. I said, he was in your presence. He was coming to get his wife. Right? So that made her feel good. And I felt great about, you know, uh, just being able to talk to somebody and, and brighten their day a little bit. Matt, please respond. Matt, Gina, please respond to Matt's comment, please. Okay, let me see. Hold on, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Matt, hey Gina, if you make breakfast tomorrow, can you make a bacon, egg, and cheese for me, please? A bacon, egg, and cheese? Tomorrow's Sunday, and I don't work on Sundays, Matt. But I can definitely do a video um, doing a bacon, egg, and cheese. I would love to do that. So you can see the video, sure. Let's see, does Matt say anything else? Let's see. Welcome in, Matt. Thank you for watching and tuning in today. Okay, is that all he says, Sassy? You were meant to be there. Let me see. I'm looking. You were meant to. I'm reading Shay's message. You were meant to be there by the grace. I'm Sassy. Uh, Shay, you just gave me chills down my arms. I was so happy to be able to do that. So happy to be able to do that. And then, Shay, for her to come back later, several days later, just to let my husband know what your wife has done for me. My husband's like, uh, she said, like, you made her feel really happy. <laughs> you know, my husband was kind of clueless a little bit. He's like, but she said that you made her, like you helped her. That, that I, I love that. If I can help somebody, I'd love it. <sighs> okay. Gina, you will use Mike to say those needed words. I, I hope so. I hope so. There was one thing that helped me to feel better when uh, my grandma passed. And it, it, it was simple. It was something so simple. It may have... It was something simple, but it made me feel good at my age. I was 20. But uh, the preacher, after when they got ready to will my grandma out so we could go to the cemetery, they said, well, we know Lucille is in heaven. He said, because it ain't rained outside. And when we get out there, look at the rainbow in the sky. I thought, are you kidding me? Right? I took that and I ran with it, right? That was like the best. That was it for me. I was like, yes. <laughs> you know, yes. Like I, it was set in stone. Grandma made it, you know. And I went out there and sure enough, it was a rainbow when we walked out of that church. You hear me? Oh, and it just, it, it, it was a small word. It was just something small that he said. But it helped me to know, you know, and to feel like it was just the way he worded it. It made me feel like she made it and it was okay. 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 Ron, Ruth is working. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I am God's warrior. Okay. Oh, uh, my, my, you, Maya Jacobs, thank you. Now, my husband's uncle 
passed away. I'd like to say one Dakota was, he could have been five. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. But um, family was visiting him in like the nursing home. And um, he was in and out. He, he was talking to everybody and stuff like that. So we went to go visit him. His name was Man. So Uncle Man. Uh, my husband loved him to pieces. So we went to visit him in the, ho in the nursing home. He was doing amazing. When I say doing amazing, don't, don't get me wrong, because maybe that's not the right word I want to do. I want to say. The day we went to see him, he had a good conversation with us. He was laughing and talking about everything under the sun. All the memories that my husband had with him and different people. He was talking about them and, you know, different things and memories and stuff. And when we left the nursing home, my husband's like, man, my uncle, he, he's looking okay. We had a great conversation. He ate a whole plate of food. He ate uh, chicken Alfredo. and He ate everything. So it was great. But I think the next day, um, my husband's cousin and maybe like her family went to go see Uncle Man. By the time they went to go see him, he was kind of like just in and out. But my husband's mom passed away when my husband was 10, which was Uncle Man's sister. Well, my husband's cousin said while they were there uncle man was saying uh-uh uh-uh and saying uh y yvonne which is my husband's mom's name uh-uh yvonne no go ahead and my husband's cousin said no -uh, you tell yvonne go ahead could tell her tell her to to, to go ahead right but I had to tell my husband, the loved ones will come and get you when it's time. So my husband's mom came and got her brother. He wind up going to the hospital and he passed. But his sister came and got him. He was seeing his sister because he was saying her name while my husband's cousins was there. And they called him right away and said, he's calling out your mom's name. He's calling out your mom's name. And I told my husband, I said, that's because she's coming to get him. And it, very quickly after, he passed. Oh, that's all he said. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, I can definitely make that for you. Um, maybe I'll do that in a video this week so you can see uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Maybe on a bagel. I see your eyes, Gina. They filled up a little, did they? Uh, yeah, maybe a little, yeah. Good night, Eula. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Appreciate having you in here. Take care, Eula. Any good movie says grateful. Y'all, we are struggling. Okay. We are struggling with the movies. We are struggling with the movies. I wrote down the movies and they, the movies that y'all gave me didn't look too good. The movies y'all gave me didn't look too good. We're gonna have to find some real good movies. Kung Fu Panda, the new one. I never seen the first one. I never seen the first one. Oh, Shirley didn't like it?
Kung Fu Panda. No, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Penny, what are you doing? Penny, what are you doing? <laughs> what is Penny doing, y'all? No, Gina, you didn't like the movie Shirley. Oh, sorry. Oh, we see, we looked at the trailer. It just didn't look interesting. So we moved on. The bookkeeper, the painter. I'm just getting was playing crib with someone's family. The Chosen is good all season. See, we don't like to see the movies that come in the seat where you got to watch different seasons. We want to see like a, a movie. Hold on, y'all. I guess I can thumbs up my, hold on. Oh, hold on, there, how many people's in here? Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. You say, Miss Gina, you know, why is asking for you to make him, why is Matt asking you to make him a breakfast tomorrow morning? He must need a female associate or something for, a na for nature? Okay. I'm, is, this, is this guy asking for a breakfast sandwich video? Who is Matt? Are you kidding me? Well, it's just as simple as finding this person and blocking them if they're doing that, you know? Like, are you kidding me? Let's see if we can find them. There they are. Let's get Matt out of here, okay? Anybody got time for all that? Okay. There we go. Matt is gone. And it's that simple. When they come in here talking crazy, just we just get rid of them. Sometimes you won't you just won't understand what people talk about. I was watching somebody I was watching somebody's live last night and the stuff that they were coming in their live and saying was just the most ridiculous thing. And she was in the bed and she had, she was just cold. She was in the bed. She had clothes on and she just had a blanket on her. And she said, yeah, I got clothes on y'all. Are you kidding me? She's like, why people think, cause I'm wrapped up in a blanket that I ain't got nothing on. <laughs> and I thought that, like people are absolutely bonkers, you know, and they'll just come in and say what they want. Because they're behind a the keyboard and they don't care. Snatched is a good movie? Hold on. Snatched is a good movie? Okay. All right, Snatched. Okay. Who is that? I don't know who that is. Mandisa. I don't know who that is. And could sing. I don't. Who is that? <laughs> that dude can make his own sandwich. Yeah. Hey, I try not to let things bother me. Just delete them. And then poof. <laughs> you know, like gone into the atmosphere, you know? She sang gospel music and was an American Idol. I'll just have to look and see because I feel like her name may be familiar, but I don't know. She's beautiful. Oh, I wonder who. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. That's interesting.
I meant is simple. Oh, okay. Mm. She was from season five, American Idol. Medisa was on American Idol fifth season. She was really good, and Simon talked about her. Is that right? I <laughs> make him that sandwich. She was 47. Snatch, it's on Tubi. Is it on, is it on, uh, is it on Netflix? If it's on Netflix, I can watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> watch out. I love when she say that. And watch out. It's so, it's so funny. Snatched on Tubi for free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, I think we have Tubi, but we never watch it. I think we do. Good night, got to go to church. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. I love Sundays. I love Sundays. I don't do a doggone thing on Sundays. You heard me? Like nothing. Like nothing at all. If I don't want to get out of the bed on a Sunday, I don't. <laughs> I don't do nothing on a Sunday. I love Sundays. I mean, I won't, I won't touch a finger on nothing. <laughs> I won't do nothing. If I don't want to get dressed, I won't. <laughs> if I want to get out of bed, I won't. Just enough to eat and maybe get back in the bed. I love Sundays. <laughs> it's funny. It's true, though. It's so true. Come over here on a Sunday, I might be in the bed. <laughs> true. Hey, from Turkey, welcome. Oh, you wish Chick-fil-A was open on Sundays? We don't eat it. Good night, Suzanne. Quick hi, Ron Wilson. Hey, hello. <laughs> you too? Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I love a Sunday, y'all. And I stay up all night on Saturday. Like, we could just stay up long as you want. Because you ain't got nothing to do tomorrow. I might want to do some yard work. We do have a tree out front that we want to put some mulch around. Well, it's like a bush. We want to put the, the landscaping fabric, excuse me, around it. And we got to put some mulch around it. It's, uh like the last place where we need to put mulch. We have done pretty much the front yard. And when I do flowers, I'm gonna do flowers. Y'all know that'll be in May, like the middle of May. Uh, when I do flowers, I'll, I'll do a flower video for you all so you can see what we've done to the yard. You like their lemonade? Is it homemade? If it's homemade, I can understand. I like homemade lemonade. They have good breakfast. I like Hardy's breakfast. Hardy's has a ham, egg, and cheese on Texas toast. That is the best thing you ever want to taste. The ham is sliced so thinly. The cheese, the egg on Texas toast, and it's so soft. It's one of the best breakfast sandwiches that I've ever had. <laughs> yes, Gina. No, they don't, Drew. Is it? Is it? <laughs> That's super funny. Oh, if you want a good laugh, watch a Tubi movie. Okay. Oh, is that right? Bojangles. Oh, 
all I have to say is great movie. Okay, okay. Oh, they make the best biscuits? I, I never tasted them. I watch a league of their own tonight. Let's see. Has the best breakfast biscuit? Oh, Gina, you should definitely try Turkish chicken. Turkish chicken. Okay. It absolutely sounds really interesting. I'll have to try that. Check out their website. Says Sublime. There's no Hardee's here in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. You say, you remember Hardy's curly fries. See, all I've ever tasted was their breakfast. That's all I've ever tasted. How many of y'all enjoyed the video today? Somebody in the backyard? Oh, 58 minutes ago, probably was you, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, did we get Deshaun out of here? We'll see. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah, because it's like three months worth of medicine. Is that why this one says one, this one says two? No, it's just one of two. Oh. One of oh, two. One of two is two. <laughs> the trolls are out. Carl's Jr. is something like Hardy's. I think I've heard of that too. I, I think I've heard of Carl's Jr. It, 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 and if I haven't, it sounds familiar. The job, hey, listen, I think we had a great time today. No, they ain't. Don't you dare. I think somebody looking in there behind you. No, they ain't. No, they ain't. <laughs> Ain't nobody back there. How scared would you be if you just heard somebody knock on the window? He said, how scared would you be if you just heard somebody knock on that window? If somebody knocked on that window, y'all, oh I would record it all. I would I would take this camera and I would zoom it around. I would, I would, I would record it all. Like, uh-huh, go ahead. You being recorded, go ahead. Does Hardy's really make biscuits from scratch? Oh, or is it a pre-made mix is what Thomas says. Okay. Uh, I don't know what your news is, Penny, but we can pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Penny. Dear God, please help her. Help her with what she's going through. Please know that everything will be okay, Penny. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. I pray to God put a special blessing over you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And I also pray that God heals you. By his stripes, you can and you will be healed. Just trust it, Penny. Believe it, receive it, and retrieve it. God is the most healing God. He loves us. He loves to heal and he wants you healthy. Please help Penny with her mind. Let peace be still over her mind. Let her give her worries to you, Lord, knowing that you'll take care of it. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I I don't know what's happening, Penny. All this time, I never seen what you ever, did you ever come and tell us what's going on? But I know the good Lord heard that prayer. You hear me? The good Lord heard that prayer. I've never had Z Burger. That's the Matt Foreman. Mm -hmm. 
Ever had Z burger? Are you saying it like I say it, like Z burger? <laughs> or is there a place really called Z burger? <laughs> or are you joking with me, like I like to say, Z burger? <laughs> Penny, you haven't, let me, let me see. Penny, you haven't said anything yet. We will pray for you. Absolutely. Yes, Drew, we will. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, please help Drew. Help me with this mind, Lord. Help him with this thoughts. Please just help him, dear God. Help him to understand things. Help him to have a learning spirit that can learn and understand what's going on in life. Help him, Jesus, with whatever he needs help with. You love him, Lord, and he knows that you love him. He knows that, that you hear prayers, and he also knows that you answer prayers. I pray that you put a mighty blessing on Drew Moss's life. May he be blessed and full of success and happiness, peace and joy in his life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, Z Burger is the name of a burger. <laughs> I just typed it. Okay, I thought you was kidding with me. Because you know how sometimes I'll put the Z in front of something. <laughs> I thought you were joking with me. You're welcome. You're welcome. You are so welcome. You hear me? I have been trying to see what is the bad news what Penny is having. We pray everything will be okay. Yeah. We do, Penny. We do. Z Burger is real. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jewel. Thank you, and thank you for coming in. I'm going to get ready to get off. I'm going to get ready to get off. Give me a big old hug, and then I'm going to take these clothes off, put some PJs on. Just kind of relax. I do. I want to relax. Enjoy my evening. I want to see the puppies. Uh, spend some time with my husband. Get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit. And enjoy my Sunday doing nothing. I love you guys. Give me a big hug. Oh my goodness. Ay, 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 ay. I love you so much. I thank you all for coming and joining. I've never heard of Krispy Crunchy. I've heard of Krispy Kreme. I've never heard of Krispy Crunchy. What is it? What, you know what Krispy Crunchy is? Oh, Dakota laughing like he heard of it. It's popular out there, okay. They have the best tenders, okay. Yes, good night, Nicole. Okay, Jewel, but it's always nice to see you when you come in, so thank you. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you all coming in and joining me. Thank you for everything. Thank you to my lovely moderators. I love you guys. And listen, keep the faith. And don't be afraid to pray. And don't be afraid to cry. And when you guys need me, I'm here. Okay? It's never goodbye. I'm coming back on another live. I just don't never know when. <laughs> okay? Good night. Yes, big hugs. I love you until I see you on the next live or I see you on the video. Okay? God bless and good night.